ain't gonna be no talking, you know, from me about the game. I just want to go play it, and then we can talk about it after. Riding a five-game winning streak, I asked Jackson if he thinks the Ravens are hot right now. He said, "Yes, he does, but he doesn't want to hype that up too much. We just need to put our heads down in this game." Game, he said, and focus on the task at hand. You've been watching the progressive wild card kickoff. Titans Ravens coming up after these messages. In a new year. We'll crown a champion we'll never forget. Of the season, we'll all always remember. Are you ready for a wild, wild card Monday? NFL playoff action. The Bears are in the hunt. When they take on Drew Brees and the Saints. playoffs today it's the nfl on espn ready for football yes pn delivers great talk from the world of football Germany six is unacceptable. It was an alarming performance by Germany. Yes. ENFC Tuesday through Saturday on ES. PN2. It's time. And there's no time like this time. This time fly. This time freeze. This time breaks it.
Vietnam makes us. ESPN brings you lively NFL discussion. So it doesn't have to be amazing because this is the best defense in the division right now. This is the best. Defensive lineman. So ever. in the NFL. NFL Live. Wednesday through Saturday on ESPN 2. The NHL on ESPN. Out West, superstar Nathan McKinnon leads the avalanche into the 2021 season as a serious contender. night is no easy draw as they host St. Louis ready for redemption across the play Thursday on ESPN 2. ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. <coughs> you ready? All right, let's do it. Pop is short for pop. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. And there is nothing wrong with that. Last year I kept it on a tough A. It means you've connected with the current. And your fortune and fame is a just reward. Big trust. Big trust. Two, four, six, eight. Watch this factory so they appreciate. Crown in my hand and I'm really playing. Keep awake. But hold on. me the playoffs are not popularity contest they're a reality check no likes just bottom lines run or run down can't catch that Superman, how do you like that? 
Lamar, deliver on the promise your best moments have made. Here's Houdini! And Derek, let nothing and no one stand in your way. Oh, they'll love you for it. Hit him in the mouth! Yes, oh, yes. Yes. But this ain't about making friends. If you ain't never been pissed off, this the time. It's about getting that ring. The playoffs. It's about to get real. Just in time. Just in time. Okay, now for some reason my internet is not going very fast, and I think it's got something to do with... Me... Rendering a video right now. So I'm hoping that that fixes it. And here we go! For once I actually see the kickoff. And it's a touchback. At the 25 yard line. Okay. Ryan Tannehill comes off a career. Ryan Tannehill and the Tysons are facing Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Total touchdowns. And we'll go back to the divisional playoff game last year against Baltimore. Look at those pedestrian numbers. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for this. 88 passing yards in a victory. I think it's safe to say he'll have a little bit more production in today's game, but. Outside of the top three guys at quarterback, shouldn't be lagging anymore. Rogers and Josh Allen, you could argue that Tannehill has played as well as any quarterback in the league. I think they give it to Henry on first down. Play fake. Ethan, you've got to be joking. Nobody does that better than Ryan Tannehill and he'll run. Out you've to got to be joking. Yard line. But you're not joking at all. <laughs> Fuck. What's, what's up with my stream? What? the hell just happened that was a looking left the whole time down the sideline for a big one and it's caught well all right then what have i missed makes the catch working against Derek Henry three rushes for nine yards Tannehill one rush for four yards AJ Brown one catch for 28 yards JK Dobbins you see him look back with the football and just lose and we just saw that catch for 28 yards you see, it's just a game of inches. Ryan Tennessee is in control. Perfectly. Yeah, I mean, it's like he walked up to him and handed it to him and said, here, I'm going to give it to you so Marlon Humphrey can't touch it. That is beautiful. Unbelievable. Beautiful pickup, blitz pickup by Derrick Henry in the backfield. And those are the kinds of plays you got to make in the playoff. Tight throws, catches. First big play of the game goes for 28. Tannehill looking that same way. Get the tight end, Jonu Smith, involved. There was some question about A.J. Brown and his health coming in. He didn't practice all week here in Nashville. He's had some issues with a hand and knee. He's okay. A, he's a big right. Time, uh, time for some shout-outs. Bob, what's up? God of Fish. Pounds, so Bobby! Empire, what's happening? Jonas. Try to manage his practice. <laughs> Looks like he's ready Ethan, to Empire Jeff. As per. Second Ashley, first. Tyson, Jonas. The Baltimore 31. JPGT. We've got a flag. Go hard count. And the flag comes in. Sabrina is back. Adam. Offense. Maitland. Jacob. Joel. Sean. Reese. That's the rookie. And Empire. Brooke, Welcome one and all. We're back for another day of football. And I can't fucking wait to be fair. Injuries to AJ Brown. Is it practice? I thought for once I'm actually going to be here for the start of the game. But... For AJ Brown. So he's Not so lucky. Him from time Anyways, time. first look at Derrick Henry. Back in there, second down at 11 after the penalty. Three rushes for nine yards so far. That was Corey Davis in motion, top of your screen. Tannehill steps and fires. It is Brown again. Oh my God! Did you see <laughs> who was that? Who's that number 44? Is that Humphrey? Pick up a 14. 
Is that Humphrey? Because if it is, look at the way he swung his arm. I think he's trying to take his head off. Look at this. Oh, fuck. It's like... Bang! Get in, son. Right, give. Yep. Henry's got to run. Let's go. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. The Ravens' defense is up for this match. The Ravens' defense is going to give it to Derek Henry just as hard as he's going to give it to them all fucking game, it seems. And that is sick. That is sick. If you want to, if you want to contain Derek Henry, if you want to shut him down, if you want to just make him think twice about running into you, you've got to go in with with more power than he's coming at you with, and and that's what just happened there. And that's impressive. And everybody seems to get a little healthier for the playoffs. Second down and nine. Tannehill. John o. Smith sort of juggled that after making the catch. Going to bring up a third. Sean, I, I was considering doing that, but... You see right off the bat, Arthur Smith... Yeah, no more shots, Joe. Changing up the tempo, no more shots. Changing up run <laughs> this is not just a first and second down run, Derrick Henry. And that, that was funny, down. wasn't it? throw it. <laughs> that was really fun, actually. Who was that guy? This is an impressive drive for Tennessee. Third down and four. That's the tight end, Anthony Ferkser. Motion out of the backfield. Henry's out of the game. Ravens bring some pressure. It is Ferkser. Nice first down. So who are we backing, guys? Who are we... Uh, who are we going for today? This will be a reoccurring theme all game. Identify Ferkser on a linebacker, whether it's Board or whether it's Queen. Because I can't pick. I, I honestly can't pick which team I want to win. We've got one for Ravens, two for Titans, three for Titans. Well, two for Titans. Two Ravens. Three tight ends in. Two Ravens, four Titans, five Titans, three Ravens. Henry gets shut down again. Matthew Judon, significant play for Baltimore. Yeah, you see Matthew Judon, he just beats Swain on an inside Ten charge here. <laughs> on the edge, these wide zones. Look, Wink Martindale said we have to knock them back on the edges and make sure this ball goes lateral, and Derrick Henry cannot get those big shoulders pointed north and south. That's exactly what he needs. Those guys are going to be in the spotlight all night long, all afternoon long, because of the way they yep. like to attack on Henry's the perimeter run. here Let's go. in the run game. Ooh. <laughs> the best goal-to-go team. Shh. In the NFL, second down and goal. Now push back beyond the 10. Tannehill looking left. Catch that. Ooh. A.J. Brown. Brown gets separation from, from the defender for the catch. Couldn't <laughs> We couldn't quite punch the ball out there, could you, mate? No. I love the way that Arthur Smith identifies matchups. He comes out with two tight ends, two wide receivers. That, that number 11 is huge. And Ryan Tannehill is just looking for my best matchup. And why not go right back to A.J. Brown? He made a play on A.J. Brown. In a drive and he seals it Someone that. was trying to tell me Good yesterday that A.J. Brown was better than D.K. Metcalf. Look, A.J. Brown is a man. And I'll tell you, Marlon Humphrey is one of the most Well, apparently he's a man. Six foot. Pushing him all over the place plays bigger. In this football game. Yeah, Marlon Humphrey was looking for the push-off, but a penalty flag. <laughs> Steven Guskowski is back for Tennessee. He's got the extra point. Ryan yeah, I thought it might have been a, a pass into a, 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 um, a push of some sort. Yeah. Seven up in the that six foot four, two thirty, coming at them the whole game. They'll get tired of seeing him come back. Hey, look, I'm going to rest my case. I'm going to wait till the second half because that's what happens in rugby, bro. Yes, teams can go and go and go for the first half, but in the second half is when games are won or lost. And to be honest, guys, I just wanted to log on quickly just to get some numbers in here. We've got a quick 50. We've got 19 likes. 
and we've been streaming for 20 minutes. I'm going to go and get my first cup of coffee for the day. I'm really looking forward to it. Don't know about you guys. And I'll be back. It's time. And there's no time like this time. This time flies. This time freezes. This time breaks us. And this time makes us. Actually, whose time is it? It's time to find out. I told him, OJ, you're breaking the laws of God. Tell me that story, darling, about myself. One day, everybody's going to know everything that you've done, man. OJ, Made in America, a five-part documentary event on National Geographic. ESPN brings you lively NFL discussion. Is the dynasty over in New England? Absolutely. It really ended when Tom Brady left. Dude, it doesn't have to be amazing because this is the best defense in the division right now. Join host Laura Rutledge and a panel of experts for a breakdown of the latest news and headlines from around the league. This is the best defensive lineman to ever play in the NFL. Boom! I think this is the actual play of the game. NFL Live, Wednesday through Saturday on ESPN2. Today's aerial coverage is brought to you by Goodyear. Titans on the board, impressive drive. Ryan Tannehill has six completions in this game. Again, he had seven completions all of the playoff game a year ago in Baltimore. One by the Titans. Goskowski will kick it away. Duvernay will let it bounce into the end zone. And we'll join our officiating expert, John Parry. People in Baltimore might be wondering if the Titans and A.J. Brown got away with one there, J.P. Yeah, downfield, it's all about advantage. Does anybody create the advantage? I think this left hand creates the advantage to the defender there. Arm gets extended, creating the offensive pass interference. I would have a foul there. It'll be interesting to see how it continues for three more quarters as it pertains to consistency. I think, John, the question that the fan at home might have is do they call it differently in the playoffs versus in the regular season? They don't. They really try to make an entire season the same way. Regular season, East season, as well as postseason. Marquise Brown has his first grab of the afternoon, working on a Dory Jackson. Well, I think Marlon Humphrey's going to continue to get targeted with A.J. Brown. He's the second most targeted cornerback in the NFL this season, only behind Malcolm Butler, who plays for the Titans. So he's going to get his fair share of shots. Humphrey expected coming his way. And we'll see if his old pal gives him the old stiff arm, too. That'll be something to watch for. Former Alabama teammate. Second down and three. Here's Gus Edwards for his first carry. You know, you should have enough for the first down, their first first down of the day. You mentioned no Mark Ingram, inactive for this football game, and that, that's probably surprising to a lot of NFL fans watching this game. But the reason is, obviously, J.K. Dobbins has burst onto the scene. He's the future at the position for the Ravens. They love Gus Edwards. Mark Ingram doesn't play special teams. So if your third running back doesn't play special teams, it's hard to keep him active. Justice Hill is active because he plays special teams. So I think that's why they made that decision. Ingram turned 31 last month. Here's Jackson to throw, steps and fires, and it's going to be intercepted. Was trying to go to Miles Boykin, and Malcolm Butler, the most attacked, picked on defensive back in the NFL, says, you want to come at me? I'll come out with that football interception for Tennessee. I love the play call, hard play action. That ball has to be thrown out on the sideline. Lamar misses inside, and it's an easy interception for Malcolm I'm not Butler. quite sure, Zach. Uh, what Three the fuck did you tell us? in the game a year ago and already won here early for Lamar. Are you ready for a wild Lamar Jackson threw a pick. Monday, NFL playoff action. The Bears are in the hunt. That's not ideal. They take on Drew Brees and the Saints. Touchdown! We wrap 
wrap up with the Browns and the Steelers. Touchdown! NFL Wild Card Playoffs. Today, it's the NFL on ESPN. Ready for football. <laughs> The game could be over. <laughs> the game could be over. Fuck me, dude. Okay. All right. We've got two teams here, right? Titans and the Ravens, who struggle in postseason or have struggled recently in the postseason. Is that right? NFL Live, Wednesday through Saturday on ESPN2. It's time. And there's no time like this time. This time flies. This time freezes. This time breaks us. And this time makes us. So it's an interesting thought here by Edgar. Um, AJ and DK both played together in college Actually, at Ole Miss, I assume. And AJ is? was the number one option for their team. It's time to find out. Interesting. ESPN's NFL Wild Card is brought to you by Burger King. One dollar, your way. Ravens have. Titans killed them last year. King. Titans got into the championship game last year. Got beaten by the Chiefs, is it? Right. Who then went on to the Super Bowl against the 49ers? Couldn't be completely sure. It's been a while. Lorenzo Neal had the kickoff. Frank Whitecheck threw it to Kevin Dyson. Steve McNair and the Titans claimed the 22-16 victory. That was the last wild card right, guys. game played in this stadium. Wow. Some 21 years ago. Who was here last week when we saw Derek Henry get 2,000 rushing yards? And the Titans up seven off the turnover. Oh, Henry. Henry. Once again, falls forward three yards. The interception. Yeah, let's go back and take a look. Watch as Lamar All right, Jackson, watch this interception. Play action. Trying to get the ball to Boykin on the outside. He's going to get some pressure in his face. Right here, see the pressure coming from Evans. This ball needs to be thrown out here on the sideline. Lamar influenced by that pressure. That ball is about eight yards inside of where yeah, it should have been. Yeah, that was not a very good and throw, was it? Oh! Henry is dropped, Henry is dropped, dropped all right. Malcolm Damn, that, that, look, that hit, that hit did not look like much, but it, it was. If you can... <laughs> Drop Henry like that. Smacking him with game, everything you've got. Against the Seahawks. Well, Malcolm Butler had a lot to say week 11 before the game. He was the one standing on the. I was hyped, Reese. That is that is a moment John in history Harbaugh that I've actually been able to witness live, mate. You know what I mean? Come out ready to play. Something I'm going to look up in the future. You know these these eight players in history that have actually uh, achieved this feat. And King Henry is always going to be there. The and he's actually a clear fifth on, a on the list of all-time rushing yards Henry. in a season. They for yeah, they just lose now let me have a look at this catch. Right here and just sneak across the field. You have to be able to keep your eyes on your responsibility here whenever you're playing man coverage. But you, get, you get picked off. You nice throw. Rubs on the inside. And Ferkser, in a sense, has this become their third Ferkser. He's replaced that. Ferkser. And he's a guy who's just a... Ferkser. What's his 40-yard dash? Oh, no. Let's... let's no. Derek Henry's running. Run. Look how far back he stands, bro. Six yards. All right. He gets the ball on the burst. Just to the line of it's a sight to be seen every time, but they are Ferkser shutting him down. Ferkser had a couple of touchdowns last year in the postseason. First... Uh, Currently, Henry is there. eight rushes and for 17 yards. Yeah, he's become a big mm. part of their 12 personnel, 13 personnel packages where it makes them multidimensional, even though they have two tight ends, three tight ends on the field. Because of his receiving ability, it really puts the defense in a bind. Reese did not know that. Conflict. Titans had a Was that Barry Sanders? Lead against Kansas City in the AFC title game last year. I think people forget that. Second down and nine. That's batted down at the line of scrimmage. 
It'll be third and nine. This is a huge drive for Tennessee and for Baltimore. Remember what happened last year in the playoffs. Tennessee went up, got up 14 nothing, and it completely changed the dynamic of the game. The way that Baltimore offense. Ryan says, for me in American rugby is basically Lamar professionally professional times. kill the carrier. They want to do so. The well, for me, uh, football is professional kill everybody. To go down and maybe go up 14 nothing is huge. Sup, JJ? Third I'm good, my nine, friend. Jeremy McNichols is Enjoying this. They motion Brown through. What are you up to? Pressure up the middle. <gasps> Tannehill. Must be like midnight. Try to hook up with Corey Davis. Are you out on the piss, mate? And the pressure was coming. Sunday night in Thailand. Goskowski will run onto the field. Sam Sloman got a bit of a cult following. Had been hanging around, not able to practice for six weeks. Winds up needed in the game last week. Comes onto the field. Titans are the Ravens. Critonites. It's a 37 yard field goal. That's news to me. Injuries really common in rugby are they more rare in the NFL than the NFL. The um, look, mate, they're common in both games. Title. Seriously. Ankles. Knees. Shoulders. Is through. Head, neck. All that shit. <laughs> when you're coming into contact like that. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. In fact, it's you know, even even just this season, um, playing for Littleton. Like this time. Um, Edgar, please, please do. This time flies. This time I saw freezes. injuries happen, like this literally right in front of me. This ball carrier, right? He could have given it to me. I could have been the one running into that tackle. <laughs> but it was the guy in front of me. I saw it happen. Actually, and, you know, he fucks his leg. Time is breaks it? his leg. And I'm like, well, holy shit, bro. That could have put me out for months, if not years, if not forever. From one collision, you know what I mean? One one collision gone wrong and you, 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 you're fucked. It just makes you think. It doesn't make you... It, does, it doesn't put you out of the game because you've got a love for it. And you believe that you're good enough to, you know, dodge those tackles, obviously, and, and make plays. But when you think about it, mate, all it takes is one. Sup, Nick? Anthony? I reckon I probably will, bro. Yep. But if I do decide to retire, then that'll be it. Today, it's the NFL on ESPN, ready for football. Now, honestly, guys, to be to be fair, and I'll say this right here, um, the game that I'm most interested in playing right now is still football. Uh, I was extremely happy to get another season of rugby in, especially at my old club. Like, it was meant to happen. You know what I mean? I, I had envisioned it at the start of the year, made it happen. But I want to move on now. I don't want to play football. Anthony, you'll see that, bro. No doubt. How am I going to title it? Okay, what do we got? <clears throat> Let me turn this down. This is fucking... Fucking with me. Hold on. Edgar says, Last night I bought post-workout and protein. You mean pre-workout? Uh, no, post-workout. The post-workout had 5 grams of protein, the protein powder is 30 grams of protein. I was thinking of drinking 2 protein shakes a day. Your thoughts? Uh, just con confirm what you mean you bought post-workout and protein. What, what's post-workout? What is that? <laughs> They could use some field position right here if they could get a return with Devin Duvernay. Not going to get it here. Not this time. <laughs> Lamar threw an interception on the first drive in the playoff game last year. He throws an interception on the second drive here today. So they got to get back to the rushing game. You see fourth most all time. That's after setting the record last The, ru the Ravens rushed for 3,000 total rushing yards this year. Five game span. <laughs> Look at that, triple threat. Lamar Jackson, J.K. JK Dobbins, Gus Edwards. What, what about Mark Ingram? 
Where is he? I'll get to your question. Hold up a sec. But at your height, bro, six foot, right? 185 pounds. Go, Lamar. Do something. Um, Desmond King came up to drop him. No, six foot three you are, aren't you? Look, man, 65 grams of protein, 60 grams of protein, 30 grams of protein. I'm going to say you're probably going to need about 180 per day. And with that being said, to get 60 from it, 60 of that 180, which is a third, from liquid sources, from, from a protein powder, is fine. Of course. But probably no more than that. And to be honest, a scoop is 30 grams, right? So a two-scoop shake could be 60, 60 grams easily. Um, I believe the body can absorb, you know, more than 30 grams of protein at one sitting. Um, in fact, I pretty much never eat just 30 grams of protein at one sitting. Uh, I'll, I'll double it up so that I don't need to eat so many times again during the day. That's just the way I do it, mate. I like to see... Uh, my nutritional intake over a 24-hour period rather than every two to three hours, or even over a 48-hour period rather than, you know, these smaller time frames. That's how I like to see it. Takes the pressure off. I'll work out, come home, and not eat for three hours. Now, some people would <laughs> would die, you know, would die if that happened, literally. Oh, big catch by Lamar. Big catch by, by the Ravens. Big catch. But yeah, I tend to, um, definitely in the last five years, I've, I've tended to be a lot more relaxed with my nutritional approach, but have the fundamentals still solid, like hitting a certain amount of protein per day and a certain amount of fats per day and changing up the carbs as to what you want to do with your body, weight, up or down. Anthony, don't spoil, please. What are you talking about? What's happened here? He's out today. He's out. He's not on injured reserve. No, he's not. Floyd, post-workout supplements. What are you talking about? You mean a protein powder or do you mean amino acids? Which is, you know, it's not post-workout, but it can be um, throughout the whole entire day. In fact, I do have a tub of amino acids right here. Uh, it's got caffeine in it. So I, I tend to use it for a, uh, a pre-workout as well at times. But uh, this is my choice of amino acids. Five grams of protein per scoop. And 50, grams, uh, 50 milligrams of uh, caffeine. Sorry, no. Cancel that. Each scoop has five grams of aminos and fifty. Nah, sorry, two scoops has five grams of amino acids and a hundred milligrams of caffeine. So usually I'll have three scoops. That's what I use. That's what I've used for years. Tastes amazing. Makes your water a lot more interesting than, than plain, plain water, you know what I mean? No sugar. ESPN delivers good supplement. From the world of football. Edgar says, <clears throat> don't they say that too much protein is also non-beneficial? Well, what's too much, bro? Because 180 grams ain't too much. Sabrina says, I eat healthy food. John says, Kiora. Yeah, Kiora, mate. Or Kiora. One thing I like is that how you don't necessarily have a favorite team and have jerseys of all sorts. It's always been the way, man. I know people who have to eat every two to three hours. Why do they have to eat every two to three hours? Is that a mental issue that they've got? Um, an eating disorder? Or do they actually have to or else they'll die? Um, Jonathan, yes, I am planning on eating. Not, <laughs> not eating. I'm <laughs> watching all three games today. Lamar Jackson goes for a run. Total war. Yeah, total war I... Um, 
I've probably bought three tubs of Total War. It's extremely strong. Uh, usually after a tub of it, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, that's their strategy. They're going to ground and pound you. Get out to a lead and then see Michael, you can hold what's up, Super Becker? But that's not the way this one has played out early. They're only down by 10. Feels like they're down by 20 plus. Next game is about to be so boring. The next game is the one that I'm going to miss, if any. If any. Okay, Edgar, amino acid powder. If you can find one that... You know, doesn't have caffeine, so you can have it throughout the day. I'd literally be sipping on that all day. That's what I've done in the past. If you can find a, an amino acid powder that you love the flavor of, that you can mix with water, I drink it throughout the whole day. Just, It's basically just drip feeding protein to your body throughout the whole day. That's how I see it. How can you go wrong? If you can afford those supplements. If you can't, well, that's fine. The tight end, Ricard's in the game. Can certainly run this football to convert. What? Saints Bears game is going to be on CBS or on Nickelodeon and will be targeted towards kids with a 15 year old announcer. You're kidding. Tell me more. Get on the bus, Gus. It's Gus Edwards for the first down. Get on the bus, Gus. Kenny Vaccaro is in position here. Here he is right here. Watch when they block down. He's going to fire. He's in position to make this play, but easier said than done on Gus Edwards at 240 pounds gets the conversion. 240 pound running back, Gus Edwards. It's one thing to have the structure and to be out there. It's another thing to get these backs on the ground. The reason they eat two to three hours is because it boosts insulin. Righto, mate. Do you want ins do you want an insulin boost all day, every day? Or do you want it around your training? Back to the line of scrimmage, David Long. First on it. For Tennessee, you watch tape of the Tennessee Titans defense. You'll see number 51, David Long, show up over and over again. Just watch him right here. Obviously, yes. Your screen, watch him stay if you're trying to put on size, you want to stay as anabolic as possible. You do want to be eating every every three hours, I'd say. Six meals a day. As soon as the running back sticks his foot in the ground and goes north and south, you slam him. That is textbook linebacker play. Dana Holgerson said that Long is the toughest player to ever play at West Virginia showed some toughness there on second and ten Jackson throwing <laughs> oh that time he get, hits him Marquise Brown with a big play Pick up a Marquise Hollywood Brown 29 yard catch that's big it's a great throw and catch from Lamar Jackson there targeting a Dory Jackson and never got his eyes back to the <laughs> He's back. He's back. <laughs> Zed Moore, what's up? What's up? All right, I'll, I'll find you. In this game down the field. He didn't show up week 11. You want it all day because it helps increase muscle. I'm not 100% sure anything more than that. Are you talking about carbohydrates or are you talking about protein? Because carbs are the thing that's going to um, affect insulin response. Certain meals throughout the day you'd want carbs. Certain meals you wouldn't. If you're going to do it completely properly. <gasps> no catch. Incomplete. Andrews there. Butler on him. Just running a double post here. Watch on the outside. This ball. Trying to get it to Mark Andrews. He's working on a much smaller player in Butler. Butler undercuts it. Where have we seen that before? Uh, if that ball was thrown a little bit further upfield and not behind, he might have an opportunity missed on that one. I thought Butler had a chance for a second interception it, of the it game. Looked, it looked like he played it perfectly. Well, if you... If you nice look, mate, ball um, ball insulin ball responses ball you ball can ball have all day, every day, which is fine, for only a few years. Because certain shit will start to happen. And you Down won't be as... Stop. Efficient with insulin, and you will not be as receptive to insulin. Your own body's insulin response. And that's a problem. Yeah, look, we asked Lamar about this yesterday numerous different times, and he said, really, it's been about me. It's been about me either rushing through my reads, not being accurate with the football, as you saw in the previous play to Mark Andrews. It's really been about... Fourth down. Brooks Reed enjoying it. Loss of five. Yeah, Brooks Reed is lined up over here on the on the right side. 
And Lamarge flips the sides of the field. <laughs> Why is my face like that? And Brooks Reed Why? Sack to force a field goal attempt. Come on, man. Don't, don't do that to me. Here's Justin Tucker. From 33. Gets Baltimore on the board. Just a tick under 10 minutes left in the second. All right, let's have a look. Joel. Do I have a few favorite bodybuilders? Mine is Dorian Yates for his absolute grit and determination without the best genetics. Um, bro, I've followed bodybuilding for almost a decade extremely closely you know if you throw out any names i'll know them but if you want me to name my my favorite bodybuilders i don't know if i have one i'd have to think about it maybe it'll always be remembered that way but if it is it will be a memory of excellence not edgar too much protein is bad but you've got to think well how much do you actually need and is 180 grams actually that much? No, it's not. Who are some of my favorite rugby players? Fuck, no. See, these are big questions, man. I, I do need probably about two to three minutes to, to think about that. <laughs> favorite bodybuilders, favorite rugby players. You could ask me favorite UFC fighters, favorite boxers. Definitely favorite football players. I'm just not sure. What is my prediction for the top 10 or top 5 for this season's top 100 players list? That is another good question. What do you guys think? Who are the top 5 for the 2021 top 100 players of, of in the NFL? Would the insulin be effective with diabetics who no longer produce it instead of having to get insulin shots? Well, they would still take the insulin shots, but they probably have a bit more than they need to Mr. Simpson is a fugitive. <laughs> to allow them to, to take in much more food than, than they could, usually. Um, if you are taking in endogenous um, insulin to help, then that changes everything. But if you're just looking for your own body's natural insulin response, then it's different again. To be honest, I'm no expert. <laughs> I'm a lifetime natural, bro. Uh, no GH, no insulin, no growth hormone. I just said that. No um, steroids, Psalms, pro hormones, nothing. Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, Lewis Riddick, Lisa Salters, John Jonas B. I do know Matt does fitness. I feel like those videos that he makes would probably be shot maybe every three days possibly which means that the other two days he'd really bring his diet back and he does train hard trains hard respect all right so top five for the 2021 top 100 players in the nfl rogers mahomes henry tj watt and Diggs. Rogers, Henry, Donald, Mahomes, Diggs, Troy, Paul, <laughs> Lennox is my favorite boxer of all time. Well, I remember a day back in uh, 2000, and I'm not sure if you were uh, you were born or not, but Lennox Lewis fought David Tua for the world heavyweight title, and that was my introduction into heavyweight boxing. It was. I was 10 years old. Right, let's see Derek Henry. Here's Henry. Still looking to break a big one. Derek Wolf in there leading the way for that Ravens defense. Henry has nine rushes so far for 19 yards. Yeah, it's not, not great production. Times look Derek great this year, to be honest. Diggs won't be top 10. If the Titans win, I'll send you 100 bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, all right then. This is, like we said, not a... TJ, TJ, TJ. Everyone thinks TJ Watt's awesome. Combination of diverse offense that has multiple ways well, to reach it. he is, but he's just not memorable. He's not. And he's on the defensive side of the ball, so it's just it's just not the same. Don't hate me for that, I'm just being honest. Which is what you can expect from this channel at all times. Doesn't do it for me, mate. 
This should be only the second penalty of our game. Illegal use of hands. Defense, number 22. Five-yard penalty, automatic. The players list respects... Oh, well, of course they do, because... Defense is half the game, but for me, after missing the last three with a shoulder injury, you see Jimmy Smith in the slot against AJ Brown gets his hand up underneath the chair. Okay, okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, will AB make the list? The referees aren't calling it, so they're gonna have to continue to stay physical. Yeah, I probably I just haven't watched TJ watch TJ Watt play. So how can I say? Maybe if I did watch a couple of Steelers games, he might affect me in the same way he affects you guys. Everyone's saying no. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight no's, nine no's. So you can focus Ten knows. Aspects of this offense. And Don Martindale has said Eleven knows. We're going to be physical at the point of attack. We'll see if our secondary can hold up against Ryan Tannehill. So far, it's been a struggle, though. What happens if Tampa Bay go on to win the Super Bowl and Antonio Brown gets three touchdown catches in that game for 200 yards? Wins it for them. Then what happens? And they'll call it a catch. On the sideline, out to the 35-yard line. Still no. I doubt it, bro. Jeff Swain comes up with the catch. I doubt it, mate. Nine in the regular season. It looked like that right toe. He got that right toe I reckon down. if he plays a massive part in Tampa Bay winning that, that really Super Bowl, he's on the list. In those three games, so on the sideline. And if they make the list before the Super Bowl, then obviously that's not going to happen. Pretty clean game here so far. The score right now is 10 points to 3 to Tennessee. They've got the ball. Tannehill is in the pocket and he's been sacked. And he'll be dropped. It's Derek Wolf on the playoff sack. And it's fourth down. Yeah, TJ Watt is a menace on D. But like I said, just doesn't do it for me. Right in the middle of the screen right here. This, this Jalen Wigfall says thanks. You are not going to be able to hold it and get to your third and fourth receiver. If one or two Nick Foles there, made the list from playoff games alone. AB can also make can also make it from playoff games, but he has to be a historic performance. Well, that's what I've just said, mate. That's what I've just said. It needs to be up there, and you know, as far as performances go. But I feel like he can do it. In fact, I know he can do it. Colonel, put it in the air. Big punt from the 20. Lands at the opposite 20. That's 60 yards on the full. Can't see it, Frosty. Based purely on one year, I think they'll know he didn't do too well. Get the respect for sure of your top 20. Who are you talking about? champion we'll never forget of the season we'll always remember the NFL would not allow it no matter what he does I told him, OJ, you're who's in control of that mate of you or the players you know Big Ben is comeback player of the year award um no I didn't know that have you looked at the upcoming NFL draft uh I I probably could rattle off 10 players that I'm interested in, in America, if you want. But they're the same players that you guys know about. Defensive Rookie of the Year is none other than Chase Young. However, I won't be surprised if Jeremy Chin gets it. NFL allows anyone in the top 100. Tyreek Hill, AP, Kareem Hunt, all committed domestic violence. The NFL will feature any player in the top 100. doesn't matter their outside life. That's what Ethan said. Zach, NFL Films. Frosty, Russ was ahead of Mahomes last year. Even though Mahomes had way better year, all because players ultra respect Russ. Yeah, but who won, bro? The game is kind of driving me nuts. I have the old school Monday Night Football theme as my ringtone. NFL Films make the segments. 
Ben should get it based on stats, but Smith will because he almost died. A lot of rookies would be in the top 100. Fantastic. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a number drop down and then it shifts over to the other number last year and it says nothing. I'm like, yes, good shit. Moving in the right direction. I can't wait to watch the draft, mate, and I can't wait to watch the combine first. I'm definitely, I'm way more excited about the combine than I am about the draft. But that's just me. It's gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Quick pass to Brown. Second and short. <laughs> Drew, that is a point. I'll be fucking disappointed. If they try and do a virtual combine, not sure. This is a nice start for Marquise Brown. Like we've seen him struggle in the past. We had him on Monday night before up in Cleveland. He had some drops, although made a big catch late. It's going to be important. More concerned about the draft. Jalen Ramsey is more concerned about the draft. Oh, good run by the Ravens running back. Easily has the first down. What was it Greg Roman told us? That the best play in football is the one that's straight ahead. <laughs> and the second play with best yeah, one is slightly almost, straight ahead. Yeah, and that, look, look at this jump cut. Ahead, and then you know what? Bang! There, to my left, he probably could have done another one, man. Back to his pace around number 21, Butler. And, dime, and they're going to play the perimeter because of the speed of Dobbins and, and Lamar. Then yes, the counter is you have to run physical between the tackles downhill with Gus Edwards. From their own 35, trailing by a touchdown. Five and a half to go in the Lamar Jackson keeps it, goes nowhere. Um, on what video did Russ comment? The uh, uh, rugby player reacts to Russell Wilson, number 25 on the top 100 NFL players of 2019. Zach, no, I don't believe that AB is going to make the list, but he could. On the inside, David Long, Dzubnar, Wyatt Ray, That's all. Base, Brooks Reed, all these guys. They definitely have a nice feel for what they, what Baltimore wants to do as far as their zone read, their powers and their counters that are supposed to hit outside. Yeah, he's going to need to do about that, Ethan. About that. I believe to get this running game on track. Second okay. Nine. Flag comes in. Brown with the cutback. Man, I could see that happening a mile away. Marquise Brown, the run, they fake it to Dobbins. Give it to Brown for 15. Check the marker. All side. Give some credit to the kicker. It's nice to have your drive worth three, even if you don't get in the end zone every time. Well, with the amount of missed kicks I've seen lately, mate, that's a big call. That's a big call. But, uh, Nothing's nice guaranteed. Change up here from Greg Roman. You see Marquise Brown comes in motion. And just a little flip to the outside there. That's a dangerous play because that's a backward pass. If that's on the ground, it's a fumble. But it was well executed from Lamar Jackson. And for you fantasy players, that does go as a rush for Marquise Brown. <laughs> just across midfield. All the shit he talked in the NFL, bro. He's so, imagine being that frustrated, though. Not being able to play the game you love. You know, hitting six 1,000-yard receiving seasons in a row and then basically being, you know, cut off. Look, I know he's done his things in the past, and I'm not exactly sure of the details, and I'm not even going to try and be sure of them. But all I saw was frustration from the guy, to be fair. That's what I saw. And I felt that. First career sack for Matt Dickerson, and he'll appreciate that. Get He's a fucking good player. He needs to be out there. The he needs to be out there. You cannot tell him that he can't play. It's not fair. Three and a half to go till halftime. There's Dobbins. Look up that video of his baby mum with the police. And oh, I'm not going to, bro. Why would I want to do that? I appreciate what I see on the field. 
After trailing by 10 or more points. What's up, Breen? Again, not built for this. It was 10 nothing. What's happening? Had a field goal to make it 10-3. Everybody has their full complement of timeouts. Be interesting to see how Greg Roman plays this year. You're kind of approaching that no man's land situation. Is this four down territory? Hey, Zach, send me a message on Instagram. Show me your face. I want to know what you look like. Can't hide behind a Z. Jackson with the big run. Go, son. Get in. Go, 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 go. You got the pace, bro. Yeah. What a fucking touch now by Jackson. That is when you need a 4-4 flat quarterback. That's what I'm saying. Fuck yeah, man. Backed himself. I thought he was going to try and cut in at the end there. But he went all the way for the corner. Nice work. Nice, Jackson. No, you can't. He's gone. Yeah, when you're in man-to-man -man coverage like that and everyone has their back turned... Now, when DBs can't keep up with the quarterback, you're in trouble. This is exactly what John Harbaugh told us yesterday. Sometimes it's not going to look pretty, but you know what? We have number eight. And number eight is the great equalizer, and we don't care how it looks. That's sick. Six yeah! Let's go, Jackson! ...is an example of why this young man was the MVP. Cheers, Sean. he always gives them a chance, even when it doesn't look like it's working Yeah, use that. Idea. No social media. Well, you're on YouTube. Tougher to tackle Derrick Henry or his own running back Lamar Jackson, and he said Jackson doesn't even slow down any juice. What? I've, I've got someone's face in my message messages. All right, let's have a look. Extra point. Is this going to be scary? What's <laughs> up? Oh, fuck, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Do you guys want to see? No, I can't do that. Ryan says you can simulate Lamar's speed. You just need a cheater. Yeah, good call, mate. The epic finish to an epic season. Maybe he doesn't want to judge people as everyone fucks up. Hey, we've all fucked up, mate. We've all fucked up. That's why I don't have this judgment. I know that no one's perfect. I know I'm not perfect. We've all got secrets, guys. Yes, even me. Nick, I did see your message, bro, but I've got a fair few that I need to get back to. So my, my plan was always to um to actually watch this game, head to the gym, jump on the treadmill, and get through my messages. But what I will do, mate, is uh, is get back to you because I do appreciate your message. I did read it, bro. I did. And I will continue to do these streams because not only are you having fun, but I'm having heaps of fun too. <laughs> ESPN delivers great talk from the world of football. I should call into the Pat McAfee show or something. Can, can you just call up? I thought they interviewed people on the show as guests. Or can you just call up randomly? Everything they tried... They have a period of time to call in. Okay. Hmm. That, could be, <laughs> that could be pretty cool. If I've got a, a, you know, if I'm passionate about something. Maybe I could call in saying, I believe that Antonio Brown will make the top 100 players of 2021 list. And see what he says. But before I do, I'm going to have to have a few bullet points to, uh, to debate him. You know what I mean? I'm not going to call up unprepa unprepared. There's, there's no way. Bold, isn't it? I don't mind being bold. In the last couple of seasons, Lamar Jackson, the Lamborghini, if you will. Oh, bro, if I, if I, <laughs> if my call got through on the Pat McAfee show and it went successfully, I would definitely be grabbing that and putting it on my YouTube channel. No doubt. Fast running backs. He leads all players in eight yards per rush in 2019 and 2020, regardless of position. Right, that was a beautiful run. 
by Lamar Jackson. Various changes of direction. And so much for that 10 point Tennessee lead. And now it's 10 all. Two minutes 32 to go in the second quarter. Oh shit, did you guys just see that? John Ward knocked it right back for the Tannehill pass and completion. Yeah, he'd be stoked with that. that. Completion, if you will. That's a nice job by Jahad Ward stopping his rush. He almost picked it off. Yeah. He possibly could have had a pick six situation trying to run the tight end screen out here to Jonu Smith, who, who they also had covered up pretty well. It's a nice adjustment, a nice job by the Ravens defense now settling in. Now we got ourselves a ball game. They teach you as a quarterback to knock that ball down. But Tannehill's a former wide receiver. He can't <laughs> not do that. Two minute warning. Chest pound does indeed show he knows he did good. He put a, a big scream to that as well, and it's it's even better. Never forget of the season we'll always remember. Is it cool hand Luca time or Greek freak time? He would hang up because Pat McAfee is a bit of a dick sometimes. It's NBA on ESPN time. Mavs, Bucks, Pelicans, Lakers. Saturday well, I'd, on I'd, ESPN. I'd be heading right over there to a studio and sorting him out. I'd demand him to fucking pick up, pick that phone back up, get me back on the show. Mr. Simpson is a fugitive <laughs> justice right now. And if he doesn't, then I'm going to challenge him to a one-on-one. -on -one. You choose the sport, Pat. You choose the sport. Anything. Let's go one on one. ESPN Films on National Geographic. Are you ready for a wild, wild Yeah, I'd back myself on that. I would. Except for wrestling, that's not a sport. of the Sterling Affairs comes the latest season of 30 for 30 podcasts for brand new stories of espionage. If you wanted this team to be the Barcelona of women's basketball. Resilience. I started to scream. I tried to get away. Corruption. It's the culture of win at all costs. And rebirth. How will we ever rebuild it? 30 for 30 podcasts season six. Listen now wherever you get your podcasts. Don't miss the college football playoff national championship game. It's tomorrow night. It's Alabama and Ohio State at 8 Eastern. And we will have you covered from every angle and every platform. TV, megacast, radio, and digital. There are five players in this game that were teammates at Alabama. And, of course, we got some Ohio State flavor as well. See J.K. Dobbins on the left. Mike Vrabel, former Buckeye yeah. as well. So. A lot of Heisman trophies, too. That's what happens three, three in this game. When you right? go to those schools. <laughs> All right, out of the two-minute warning. Second and 20. Interesting to see how the two teams play this. Tannehill comes out firing, and they're going to say incomplete on the sideline. A.J. Brown caught it, but he was out of bounds. Well, yeah, you mentioned how they will play this. Uh, certainly a lot of time left here in this first half, and Baltimore is going to try to get this football back and save their timeouts. What so have we seen here by Brown? Brown? catches that ball, but his right foot comes down just out of bounds. That's a good call by the official. That would have been in in college. But that stops the clock, obviously, in completion. Yeah. So it's a free, uh, free timeout for Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore has all three still. Third and 20. Motion Smith. McNichols on the ground. Uh, Tennessee's going to make him at least use sure. one, but they're going to get this football back with plenty of time for Lamar Jackson. Minute 45 to play. Um, use that first time out. What have we got here? Keep in mind, Baltimore gets the football. 
Zed. <laughs> I hope no one's a wrestler. Look, I mean... Hey, look, 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 look. We're not talking about NCAA Division One wrestling. We're talking about WWE type wrestling. Let me just confirm that. At age 10, let me say this again, I had a Bill Goldberg t-shirt. Okay, aged, this is 20 years ago. I love wrestling, but I never actually got into collegiate wrestling. Now that is a sport. Don't get me wrong. In fact, it's an Olympic sport. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Kern holds just about every Titans punting record is on to punt. He's had two good ones today so far for 51 and 53 yards. He'll need another boomer here. Devin Duvernay is back for it. Stephen Farrow. I don't even know what is he doing, bro. Is he in the is he in the WWE? <laughs> or is he training to be in the WWE? And if he is gonna be in the WWE, what's his stage name gonna be? Gets it away from the ten. It's a good kick. That's a decent kick. Out of the thirty. That's a great kick yes. because you do not allow for the return, and that ball goes out of bounds. Start for the 31 goes as a 51-yard punt coming up. The US hey, can I just confirm something, guys? When I'm quiet, can you guys hear the commentary okay? Or do you need it to be a little louder? Quite a day for the company, right? The weekend we get the games day and the college championship tomorrow and could make the argument the best three What makes a sport? Is it com competition or athleticism? Interesting. I think that, that, look, I think there certainly has to be a winner and a loser. And it needs to be done through a set of rules and fairly. Um, and unpredictably, nothing can be fixed, or else that's not sport anymore. That's a showcase. How do you like that? I met Bill Goldberg in Bossier City, LA, when the Georgia Bulldogs played Oregon. Pat has been working with him for a while with his regular name. Okay. Commentary is good. Second down and ten. From their own Sport or a showcase, yeah. Left. Jackson looks to run out of it and can't escape that time. Harold Landry able to bring him down. No gain. That's what you have to have against Lamar Jackson. He he just got this sport is hockey. Off of this same similar look, and Harold Landry has to retrace his steps out of his rush and just get a hand on Lamar Jackson. That's well done. I just love sport, mate. I really do. I just, I, I don't know what it is, whether it is the athleticism or where, whether it is the competition. I love both aspects just as much. I do. Ravens have got the ball. Third and ten. They need to get out of their own half. They're at the 25-yard line. Big throw by Jackson. Oh, beautiful move by Brown. Look at that spin move. Stunning. Stunning. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting a, a pocky puck anywhere in the vicinity of my teeth. Or nose, for that matter. See, okay. Guys, did you just see that shovel pass by Jackson? Did you see that? Can I have a few yeses in the chat to confirm that you saw that? Because I'm going to tell you exactly how he should have passed that ball. Incomplete pass and not have to use that timeout. What a battle we have seen here today. Saw Tennessee come out, look like really good. Don't push it like this. Spin it like a rugby pass. Boom. Easy. Out. Done. Simple. You're seeing the nice little chess match kind of go back and forth here between offense and defensive coordinators. Wink Martindale changes it up, goes to a little bit. Simple. So he can keep his defensive backs from getting picked off. You see right here in this series right now, Lamar Burns when they play man-to-man -man last time on the long touchdown run. Mike Brable said, you know, no the option man, toss. That's no the option man, toss, is it? Well, let me let me confirm. Because these quarterbacks put so much pressure on you. Yeah, when you play man-to-man -man against Lamar Jackson, you because I don't see that very often. He's just gonna kill you. So I don't expect to see a whole lot more man-to-man <laughs> -man from Tennessee. Second and sixteen. 28 seconds left. Keep on the Titans have all Second and 16. Jackson. Jackson. Oh, bro. Sacked again. Fourth sack of the half by the Tennessee Titans. 
Quarterbacks are trained to flick. Yeah, well, they are. Um, but I'm telling you, bro, a spiral pass like that cuts through the air just like an overhand spiral. And if this quarterback is getting that ball, turning, putting it over his head, and then throwing it out to the flat, I feel like a more efficient action would be to grab the ball, not even have to turn, bro. All you have to do is grab the ball, and pass left or right. I want to see that. That's good advice that will be ignored. What, what's, what's, what's good advice? It's hard to reset your grip. That's why they toss it like that. Tennessee took the time out to stop the clock. See if they get another shot with the football. Hmm. 18 seconds Not left. sure. Not sure what to make of that, but that's just an opinion of mine Dobbins. that I thought I'd bring um, to you guys. Clock stopped with 12 seconds left. The late flag comes in. It is fourth down. That's what you usually do. Yeah, Mate, I've not seen a quarterback do a spiral rugby it. type pass, bro. See, Harbaugh was shaking his head. But hey, Both I might be wrong. It's a good pass, mate. It's it's fast. It's it's efficient and it's effective. Especially when you're grabbing a ball from a snap and passing it off as fast as possible. They always get the second guy. There goes Malcolm Butler. And I'm sure that happens. But still. Gets him. Is that not what Mike Grable told us? I like the thought of that because that is me. That's that's bringing the, that's literally bringing the game of rugby into the into the game of football. And, and if we can do that every now and then, I'll be a happy man. The more the merrier. How many personal foul uh, late hits have you heard of right. by wide receivers? That doesn't happen too We've got a drop punt from the 18-yard line. It's a fair, fair catch, catch on the 28. 27, a flag comes oh, 27. In. 55? 54. It's a 43-yard punt. 55. <laughs> Sam Cook. Just five seconds left in the half. That's because they don't often run those plays in NFL. You don't usually see sweeps past high school. Boring. Ah, you were talking about my advice. Oh, thanks. On the defense. Five yard punter from the previous spot. What does RBF stand for? First down. Anthony Levine, total the up back, who uh, got caught right in the middle of the formation for holding. Total, yeah, no. Nah. He's right there. He just gets caught and gets Don't that get it. right arm out. It's a good call. Holding on. Resting bitch yeah. face. Okay. And you, you listen, you, you can never got be it. sure that Brable's going to take a knee. By the way, right? 18 seconds left. Game. I didn't know that, bro. <laughs> I've never seen that that acronym. Is that what they call it? What's an acronym? On the defense, though, five and a first down. I think it is a hold on the offense there, which would be tacked on to the end. Yeah, acronym. I've never never actually seen that be be used. I've seen a fair few resting bitch faces, but I've I've never. they're going defense. Five yards and first. Never heard it be called uh, an RBF. So the, the hold was not on Levine, right, JP? Right, he's going, they're going receiving team. Might have been on <laughs> well, what about rushing back? Have any of you guys ever called a running back a rushing back? Because I have. In fact, I miss those times, man. I do. I miss those, those real naive times. You know. Good times. And the key here is the timing of the foul. Rushing back. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, right? It does. But if it's after the kick, then it falls under a different category. Right. Because that's all I want to see. Stay tuned for the USAA insurance halftime up next. Okay. Let me see that again. 
and the veterans that never quit on their team. When being a fan gets tough, and stretching your budget gets even okay. tougher. Okay. Oh, the quarterback grabs it and turns around, doesn't he? He turns around and gives that, that, that backwards pass, where, whereas he could probably pass it whilst facing forwards, you know what I mean? Anyway, let me have another look. I'm not sure if it would make it any more effective, but... He goes opposite way of where the back is going, yeah. Right. Welcome to the USAA. Oh, I like that one. I'm here with Booker McFarland, Hall of Famer Randy Moss. I'm Susie Culver. Lamar Jackson's offensive coaches preached to him all week. Use the tools guys. Look, it's the same kind of thing, bro. I, I've always loved a toss play. I've always loved a pitch. You know, these these short passes out to the running back in the flat. I mean, it's the type of play that I. That's that's the closest to a rugby a rugby move, and that's why I love it. Is the type of play and the the passage of play that is the most similar to to rugby? Give me that ball running on the burst. Give me that backwards pass with a bit of space in front of me. That's going to feel exactly like it felt on a rugby field. Until you get blown up by someone from the side because you're not looking. And then you'll know you're playing football, but still. Alright. In England, a punter is, is a betor. What does that mean? When I played football, I was either wide receiver or cornerback. I like it. What's my favourite word? Workout music, honestly, a bit of everything, but I do like, I do like R&B, bro. The Titans receiver AJ Brown is a physical beast like Metcalf. They were training partners in college. I did hear that. Becca says she's not a bitch. She promises. She's a total nerd who loves to laugh. Which team was I most impressed with yesterday? Let me think. Might they pull off the Bucks. Still waiting for Oklahoma vs. Boys State. Well, you'll, you'll probably be waiting for a while, Matt, honestly. Hate to say it. Going into New Orleans um, to play this Drew Brees led offense, he has to have some sacks and get out to Drew Brees in order for the Bears to have a chance. Yeah. All right, and how about the wild card weekend finale? The Browns back in the postseason for the first time. What I really want to do is upload this bloody Trevor Lawrence Browns video. I want to, I want to get it out for you guys. They are in but what I found is that when I, okay, either when I'm uploading a video or downloading a video, or when I'm rendering a video, my computer doesn't go fast enough to host this live stream with all the windows that we have going and do that task at the same time so I'm gonna have to log off if I do want to do anything like that it is half time we've probably got about 10 minutes up our sleeve what do you guys reckon every coach coaches with he does that now they'll be fine if you're the Browns though here's the way you beat Pittsburgh do what you do best run the football we be watching Ohio State in the national championship game tomorrow do what Cincinnati did on Monday night sit on the We'll take you to Miami for a preview of the CFP National Championship. Saints, Bears, Steelers, Browns. You're watching the USAA Insurance Halftime. And then there's Insurance no more made for the military community. USAA divisional round next weekend. Okay, so this is this is the last NFL. day. All right, so tomorrow, what have we got? College football. Two o'clock my time. That's going to be a good one. But I've got to be careful, man, because last time it was college football that gave me a strike and, and pulled me down. So I honestly think, I honestly think I'm, I'm I'm not even going to show any of the screen. I'm just going to have uh, a graphic up like we do here, and we'll just see how it goes because I, I can't risk I can't risk this shit. I can't risk letting that happen again. Two weeks. Two weeks is going to be two weeks too long. So, um, I will be watching it. But I won't be showing the screen. But I will be showing the audio and I will be showing the score. 
So by all means, come and chill. King Henry behind some screen passes. Or some screens, I like it. Listening to me. Interesting. What did I miss in the game? Uh, mate, you've got to change that fucking thumbnail, mate. You have to. <laughs> Raiders president Al Davis and NFL commissioner Pete Rozelle are bitter enemies. Oh, the Steelers vs. Browns is going to be... ESPN. In Nashville, 10-10 game at the half. Now, Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreet from Miami Gardens, Florida. Thank you, Susie. The showdown at South Florida, the finish line for college football 2020 Alabama and Ohio State. Here, in Here it is. Hard Rock Stadium. What a game. What a game. On Sundays, Kirk, and let's talk about Devontae Smith. Let's talk Hill. about Devontae well, Smith. Well, all right, mate. Managing the pain mm -hmm. that midsection while trying to handle the mental part and carry the burden of all he does for the offense against a great defense. And he's coming off his best game of his That's what I'm talking about. Against Clemson, the guts that he showed and ended up with six touchdown passes. But you're right. He's the X factor. Not just his ability to make throws and make decisions against a very complex Alabama defense, but he's going to have to use his legs to be able to open up opportunities like that to Chris Olave downfield. Where will he be? We'll keep a, keep a very close eye on that early in this game. And then Devontae Smith. He won the Heisman on the show you had it earlier this week to me he has been most maybe the most humble superstar i've ever encountered and is one of the hardest working players on this team for ohio state it's it's where do you start where, where do you load up to stop Najee harris do you worry about the explosive pass game it'll be up to mac jones from alabama to make quick decisions to put alabama in a place where they can put those big points on the board for opponents scheme his hey yeah uh, it looks like you're really enjoying holding that football there mate i reckon i'll do the same thing Team standing when the confetti drops. Buckeyes and the Crimson Tide, 8 o'clock Eastern Monday on ESPN. Oh, you've gone. Can't wait, guys. And in Nashville, Ryan Tannehill put it up and A.J. Brown brought it down. Tie game. Vitamin E6OM5 says, sup. You need to react to Des Bryant. USAA. Could do. Inviso Bull says, you seen or heard of Darren Waller's story? Um, briefly. Haven't looked at it in any particular uh, way of depth. What do you put in a morning breakfast protein shake? I would put. I'd put milk, protein powder, egg whites, oats, frozen berries, a bit of honey, a bit of peanut butter. banana and that's going to be about two liters worth of fucking liquid so <laughs> good luck because Messi is simple the one of the best player in the world join host Dan Thomas and a panel of analysts as they discuss the latest headlines and stories from the beautiful game please react to why does Bryant why does Bryant why why Des Bryant is the most overrated football player in the past five years that is the worst are you drunk again John you are aren't you Tuesday through Saturday on ESPN2. Devontae Adams breaking down his... So he breaks down his own routes. Okay, that is up my alley. That'd be sick. I support them and give them food and clothes and houses. React to Devontae Adams breaking down his own routes and releases. That is good. Good content. John is talking into his phone. Okay. Why are you surprised? Um... Yeah, I was going to try streaming on Twitch. I, I, look, I, I, yeah, look, didn't happen. Zach Wilson is going to be better than Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, mostly because he's not going to the, who is Zach Wilson? Who does he play for? An OJ and banana shakes. Ugh, that's disgusting. React to Seahawks, Legion of Boom highlights. I've done that. Any running backs you've discovered recently? We're talking NFL or college? It's time. 
there's no time like this time. Do you know what, Jonas? This time if I watch Devontae this Adams time breaking down his routes and I and I this time breaks and I feel like I could break this them down breaks. too, I might start doing that. If I feel like I've watched enough routes or enough releases or enough catches to actually start giving my opinion on them, I will. And I'll grab the, you know, I'll, 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 I'll have the, I'll have the play up in front of me and I'll have the mouse on the, you know, play bar thing and I'll, I'll go back and forth frame by frame and, and have a look at different things and look at what, you know, where their eyes are looking and, and their releases and, and, um, and everything. Go real deep. In fact, that's going to be some, some sick content. Um, you could do that for rugby. In fact, I was planning on doing that for rugby because I look at, you know, the set moves. I look at when the scrum's set and I'm looking at the two, you know, back lines. I'm looking at the offense versus the defense and I'm thinking, right, so why are you standing there? And I'm looking at how spaced out they are, you know, especially having played a season of rugby again. Um, I kind of know what's going to happen and I did like whilst watching it live, like kind of predict exactly what was going to happen. And if I could do that on camera or, or I could at least break down what I'm seeing, why that runner's standing behind that guy, when he's going to start sprinting, at what hole he's going to, you know, aim for. That's the kind of shit that um, I enjoy, but it's going to take some work, and it's going to take me um, picking up my balls once again, and uh, thrusting myself into another um, field of um, uh, content creation, you know what I mean? But it's all fun, it's all fun. Orange juice and banana mixed together, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's not the best. When you've got like milky flavors, like you know, van like vanilla or I don't know, banana or peanut butter or something like that, you mix that with fruit flavors. It doesn't do it for me, unless it's strawberry or raspberry. When you don't keep good eyes and you don't keep good leverage on Lamar Jackson, he's a guy who will break your good day, Tandy. Break your angles because you know he has home run speed. As Adoree Jackson found out on that long touchdown run. DK that Metcalf in a 4.240 yard dash. <laughs> and where'd you see that, Shaggy? Where'd you see that? In fact, I did want to tell everyone. Did you realize? Did anyone realize um, that 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 we actually saw DK Metcalf run a 4.2 flat 40 yard dash? In full football uniform. It's clocked. It's timed. He was in pursuit of someone else, but that doesn't matter. I saw that, and I knew it. And I timed it. And it was 4.2 seconds. And if you want to see DK Metcalf run a 40-yard dash in full football uniform in 4.2 seconds flat, which would be an NFL record, please head to Jake's Wide World of Sports and check it out. For 18 yards, and yet we're still in a tie game. Fucking incredible. And I tell you what, they are shutting him down, in particular on first down, which leads you to believe here in the second half, does Arthur Smith start to throw the ball a little bit more on first down in particular, where they've had some success in the past. They need to produce some explosive now. Remember, remember the last playoff game, though? Derrick Henry had less than 50 yards at the end of three quarters, and he ended up with 133. <laughs> so we know the fourth quarter is his time. You can press the comma or period keys to advance the video frame by frame. Okay. Interesting. Gus Edwards opens in the backfield. Jackson comes out throwing. It's Patrick Ricard. Oh, and big Lisa Patrick Ricard. And a two-time pro bowler. Down to Lisa. Steve, I asked John Harbaugh what changed for the Ravens after the slow start. He said nothing. Hard to find a good OC, so I hope you get it. He said he didn't have to say anything to Lamar Jackson after the early pick that Lamar has been just fine. Harbaugh said it's the kind of game that he thought it would be, a back and forth. Mike Vrabel said he's happy with his defense except for the Lamar Jackson touchdown. He said he told his defense, hey, the guy's an amazing player. He's going to make plays. We've got to get the momentum back and keep the good defense. Second half. Thank you, Lisa. Jackson again throwing. Here's Andrews. I wonder what both teams' coaches Robert talked about at halftime. What do you reckon? What do you reckon the coaches of either either team told them? Baltimore was able to pick up a first down on their first play from scrimmage here in the second half. And right off the bat, you see... The Ravens have to continue to contain the run game. Andrews in the front, spreading this team out. Dory Jackson having to make back-to-back -back tackles on big men. I know that much. Second and six. And so do, so do the Titans. 
Especially when you got Jackson running. Go, son. Yes! Good first down by Jackson. Lamar on the move for nine. You gotta love the design of this run game. You pull Bozeman, you pull offensive tackle one way, then you come back and you read it out the backside. I mean, it's just really cold. Danny says, hello from New Zealand. You're kidding me. Whereabouts? A lot of different things for them to look at. And by the time they really diagnose the play properly, Lamar Jackson is on the perimeter picking up first down. And the reason for that, right, is the linebackers watching those big linemen pull. And the left guard and left tackle pull, that's a key for that linebacker to go where they're going. And then you have the speed of Lamar coming out yeah. the other end. Matt Skura has checked in. Extra linemen in for Baltimore. Lamar keeps it again. Jackson will try to keep that and Goes nowhere. To the line of scrimmage. Dobbins had some open space, man. Should have given it to him. You see quickly there, they wanted to get the ball turned inside. Didn't want Lamar getting out here on the perimeter. He could have handed it off to Dobbins, but kept it himself. They had all the gaps taken care of inside. It's amazing the kind of stress this offense puts you on from an assignment perspective in the run game. Your guy, you cannot have anybody break down. Otherwise, Lamar will explode. Lamar Jackson, 94 yards Tennessee's from passing, 9 so from 13, Second one interception. Dobbins checks in and immediately gets the football. That's what happens when you give Dobbins the ball. Number 27, I like it. I feel like I saw Dobbins in the draft. Is he a, is he a rookie running back? Dobbins. Yeah, boy. I reckon Dobbins should have gone around the back of his blocker there. He's literally, like, grazed behind him. No space. It really does test the discipline of your defense. Third and two. Lamar Jackson, Jackson takes it behind his blocker. Go, son. Get in, get in, get in, get in. And still trying to stay in bounds. See? And he's behind his tailback, Gus Edwards, for 23. And yet How do I know where to focus during a play? I think all of us have different areas that we focus on first, depending on what type of player or, or what type of play we enjoy the most, or what position we've played in the past, possibly. Um, but yeah. That's why a team like this rushes for 404 yards last week. I mean, how does that happen? In an NFL game, amazing. Fourth team to do so since 1950. Jackson. Ooh, Ooh fires it. Threads the needle. It is That's a second and three. Give him six. What a second and four. By Patrick Ricard. What else can this young man do to help this team? He moved from defensive line over to offense and played fullback. Then they lose. Danny, um, you didn't answer my question. Whereabouts in New Zealand are you tuning in from? I'm more comfortable as a defensive player. Dobbins played at Ohio State last year. Yep, I saw him. Makes sense. Ricard's the third leading receiver so far today in a playoff game for the Ravens. Fucking Jackson, bro. He's keeping the ball too much. Jones took Jackson down. What do you guys think? Well, that was good assignment football here. You saw him. He just rode the ball there to J.K. Dobbins. Reese, do I think Calvin Kattar can be... Look, I haven't actually seen Calvin Kattar fight before. I don't know if you want my body so I really can't give you my opinion. But that's good assignment football right there. But I wouldn't... By the Tennessee Titans defense. Assume so. defense has had an issue on third down I wouldn't think so. Worst in the league. It's third and two. Not all third downs are created equal. Jackson First. to Ricard. Why not? Why not? Big Ricard. How big is that guy? Third catch, and it's going to bring up a first and goal. Pick up a nine. I can't tell you how hard this is for a big man like this to make a catch like that. That ball is out. It's not on his body. He's got to use well, how big is he, mate? I'll tell you if it's hard. He's six foot three. And blocking, and 300 pounds. He's, he's playing fullback? And to make a catch what? What? Pass for a huge first down. Give Patrick he ran a 503 in the 40-yard dash. 33 lead. reps on the bench press, that fucker. First and goal. He is playing fullback. Look at him. Look at him. Imagine running behind that guy. Just like Dobbins did. <laughs> That's an effective fullback, mate. Wowee. 
Hey, sup, Anthony. What's happening? Sup, Spencer? And it's 16 unanswered points after Ryan, I'm not sure if he looks homeless, but he definitely looks high. Damn, I, I, I love the fact that this guy's 300 pounds playing fullback. Look at this, running right behind him, bro. That's what you want, mate. That's what you want. He was, he was, he, the plays were coming in sequence, perfectly building one off the other, off the other, yep. give you the same look, but run a little bit different variation of the play. Yeah, cheers, mate. Mike Vrabel's going to have to get his defense on the sideline and kind of like... He subs in at defensive tackle. So that is one guy that does play on both sides of the field. Lamar, four of four. That's cool. Passing four rushes on that touchdown drive. The Postmates fan feed delivering fans to the NFL wild card. Are you ready? Alex, I hope you're right. Anthony, I've got two, mate, and they're both awesome. Um, I'm going to be seeing them next month. But that's all part of the, the journey of 2021. going to be a good year guys Cheers, Armour. Remember when she was a little baby in a video of yours? Yeah. I know, bro. It's time. I miss no them. Time like this time. You know, there's one thing. Guys, it's this this is all well and good, right? Sitting here with my Jesus. fucking big screen and, this time breaks you know, living in a great place and all that shit. This but, I mean, there's, you know, nothing. Nothing I do. Nothing I do in life will, will sit right with me Actually, until I... Whose time is it? Can have them back in my life it's time to find out. in some way. So that's what I'm working on, guys. ESPN and the award-winning producers of the Sterling Affairs comes the latest season of 30 for 30 podcasts. Four brand new stories of espionage. He wanted this team to be the Barcelona of women's basketball. Resilience. I started to scream. I tried to get away. Corruption. It's the culture of win at all costs and rebirth. How will we ever rebuild it? 30 for 30 Podcasts, Season 6. Listen now, wherever you get your podcasts. Back in Nashville, I remember we told you earlier that Baltimore is the only team in the NFL the last four seasons to not win a game. Not a single game when trailing by 10 or more. Uh, they were trailing in this game 10 to nothing. And here they are now with a touchdown lead. 17-10, 9 to go in the third. Here's Darrington Evans. From the goal line, trying a little spark. Done a pretty good job. Uh, Nick chimes in with a, a bit of um. Jackson has been as advertised. Henry is not. Yeah, it's all about setting the line of scrimmage and playing gap control defense and knocking. Bro, they are not letting Henry go anywhere. You're seeing that here. Wink Bartendale said it's something they were going to emphasize and then make sure that we're playing in our gaps. Make sure we protect the backside cutback. They've been on it all night. Tell you what this reminds me of. This performance of Derek Henry reminds me a lot of how I used to feel when I saw Leonard Fournette play for the Jags. He'd always try and hit that hole that he's, you know, practiced. But he'd never try and, you know, go on the outside. He'd never try and jump cut. And I'm just thinking, bro, when everything's so condensed there, all you need to do is 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 decide either left or right and just burn, like, you know, back yourself around that way and, and you'll get some space. But Derek Henry is just going straight into the back of his O-line. And that's exactly what fucking Lena Fournette used to do a lot. You know? I think that's where you got to make the adjustment and go. Second down and eight. From their own 26. Second and eight. I feel like Henry's going to get some yards here. Let's go. Let's fucking go, man. It is Henry. And he does. I like that run. That run's better. 
Better. But not good enough. Third and four. Um, <laughs> unicorn. No, it's a tiger's tail, bro. It's not a, it's not a horn, it's a tail. Hitting a big guy like this and taking on blocks, and sometimes your angles get sloppy and your technique gets sloppy, and he takes advantage of it. Baltimore says that they're up to the test. We're going to see. You still pronounce Calais wrong. It it's Calais. 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 That's Forks are in motion. <laughs> Penal that's that's a flag, isn't it? Tannehill throws and completes for the first down. That's Cameron Batson. His first grab, and it's good for six. Moves the sticks. Boy, and Tennessee needed that first down badly. They didn't get it by much, and you don't get a whole lot of production from Cameron Batson. Don't say his name a whole lot. One on one with Marcus Peters, but good effort from him. Gets a first down. 12 catches in the regular season for an even 100 yards. Look at Peters try and rip that ball out, bro. I, I... I reckon I'd lose the ball on almost every play, uh, you know, against these NFL guys. They're fucking, they're, mon they're, 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 they're I'm not going to call them monsters. Derek Henry's open, give it to him. Yeah, get some yards. Um, They're just so ruthless with their approach to that ball, you know. That's typically what you're doing off a play action, and they wanted to go deep there. Good read, nothing downfield, and check it down to the back. Good eyes by the safeties, making sure they didn't get caught short, playing with depth, playing everything top down. You love the chess match back and forth. Darius and Evans in the game. There might have been an issue with that handoff. It didn't look like a clean operation. Looks okay to me. When you talk about setting the edge and playing with knockback, just watch Matt Judon right here at the point of attack against Swain. This is what you're talking about, resetting the line of scrimmage. He almost throws him into the running back and tackles him with the blocker himself. Wink Martindale said, look, our guys will be able to win at the point of attack. I promise you this. They're not going to just go ahead and mow us down like they've mowed Yeah, Henry, Henry's um, right high now, school stats are the probably the most impressive I've ever seen for a running back. One -on -one it's absolutely ridiculous, and it's no wonder that he's balling out in the way that he is, to, to be honest. But then you're going to get the guys that, that'll say, you know, it's not going to last. Put some air underneath it. Humphrey's able to knock it away from Corey Davis. Didn't see Derek Henry in either of those. But what we will say is that Derek Henry is doing all he can to increase the longevity of his body and his effective NFL career. Just like LeBron James. But LeBron James has 10 years on him. But that that's not the point. That's exactly what they weren't doing in the first half. They were getting picked off on yep. those rub situations. Again, sideline adjustments, coaching, playoffs. It's all on display here. Brett Kern back. He's at 350 yard or more punts. Spiral punt from the 35. All the way down to and the Duvernay. 7. Fair catch. About the 7. A new year we'll crown a champion we'll never forget of the season we'll always remember are you ready for a wild wild card monday and i'm assuming that this yep the score hasn't updated i'll do that With the Browns and the Steelers. You know, hearing that guy's voice just then reminded me of one of the funniest videos I've seen in recent recent times on YouTube. And it's, <laughs> it was actually on Facebook. But it's this guy. He's walking through like your Walmart or your, you know, supermarket bloody aisles. And he walks up behind a couple or he walks up behind someone that's looking at something. And instantly goes into that deep movie voice. You know, the, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The fucking, oh, what do you even call it? You know, the, the, the movie voice, you know, the, 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 
Anyway, he goes behind people and he, st he starts randomly talking in that voice about what they're doing. And it is absolutely brilliant. This time flies. Because he, t he talks about that. They say nothing. They're just sitting there in, in, in like, you know, disbelief, watching him, listening to him, like, what the fuck's going on? And then he finishes up and then he just walks off. Like, nothing happened. And just to see their reaction after he does, I mean, it's, it's just fantastic. The comedy when someone can do something really funny but keep a straight face, that is the shit that I love. <laughs> it's the best. Lord of Sports. There was always the sense that he had a plantation. <sighs> the trailer voice, the movie trailer voice, the epic movie trailer voice. That's the one. That's the one. It's good shit. It's good content. I love it. And do any of you guys know a guy Cassidy Campbell from YouTube? He does, he does, uh, well he dresses up as different characters, <laughs> and, and does pranks, fuck it's funny. Cassidy Campbell. One of my favorite cities in America, Nashville, Tennessee, man. Up and down, just about He's probably, he's probably, <laughs> probably my favorite YouTuber. He is. He is brilliant. So switched on with the way he does it, man. Fuck you now. They have the football and the lead. Swinging around. Uh, Brown. See what I'm saying? That pass should have been a rugby style spiral pass, but I say no more. Part of the field to run. We've seen that play already. Twice, yeah. yeah said it and, before. Uh, that ball got up on Marquise Brown kind of quick, but uh, you better make sure that you trust the operation there. It's a little bit behind him and he kind of bobbled it. Lamar threw that pretty hard, too. That's when. Uh, John Harbaugh's heart is up in his throat. Second and six. Out beyond their own ten. To be honest, I haven't even watched anyone else's content, but... And I haven't watched any of Cassidy's for a while, because I've been focusing on my own so much. But when I do want to laugh, it is always a good laugh. I'll tell you this, look, right now, Lamar Jackson is starting to get heated up. And I respect him for doing that, because that wouldn't be easy, man. Oh my god, Henry is on 12 rushes for 24 yards today. Will he reach 100? That is the question. If he does, Titans win. I'm going to say it right now. 15,000 here, Roar. Jackson wanted to keep it, and it's a loss. I think it's Jeffrey Simmons. And it's a big play. And Harold Landry. You're right, Harold Landry. They brought him on a blitz off the edge, anticipating some interior run. Here he is right here. He's just going to come straight inside and, and be there for the Mark Jackson. With a scraper over the top. It's Damn, really bro. Lamar, Lamar has been sacked. How many times has he been sacked? Seriously. Probably like... Five? Five times? Freeman from the 40. Freeman's going nowhere. You know what? He'll stay right there. Pretty good starting field position. See what Derrick Henry... See the king can get going here. Are you ready for a wild, wild card Monday? NFL playoff action. The Bears are in the hunt. When they take on Drew Brees and the Saints. Touchdown! We wrap up with the Browns and the Steelers. Touchdown! NFL Damn, wild card shaggy. Today. We saw that NFL yesterday, didn't we? ESPN, ready for football. Nick says he would love to make me money, but I'm still hung over. What, what are you talking about, mate? It's time. And there's no time like this time. I'm still waiting for Jamarcus Russell to live up to the fire. Flies. This time freezes. This time breaks us. And this time makes us. People in Seattle are calling for... Fuck off. They can't be. Actually, whose time is it? Time to find out. Fickle. ESP. 
Russ is the man. We all know that. So it doesn't have to be amazing because this is the best defense in the division right now. This is the best defensive lineman to ever play in the NFL. Twenty dollars for two shots. <laughs> oh, what you were? Uh... <laughs> you took the shots, didn't you? That's right. Of the Sterling affairs comes the latest season of Thirty for Thirty podcasts. Four brand new stories of espionage. He wanted this team to be the Barcelona of women's basketball. Resilience. I started to scream. I tried to get away. Corruption. It's the culture of win at all costs. And rebirth. How will we ever rebuild it? 30 for 30 podcasts, season six. Listen now, wherever you get your podcasts. Titans still trying to get Derrick Henry going today, but he just finished his second straight record-breaking season, and finally, a sequel as good as the original. The last two years, King Henry became the first player to lead the NFL in rushes, yards, and touchdowns in consecutive seasons. Whoa. Since the 60s, the Hall of Famer Leroy Kelly did it, and Good to see Earl and Eddie in the movie theater as well, <laughs> watching the sequel. Yeah, but how does the sequel end? Uh, come on, bro. Derek, come on. You know, come it's, on. It's been King Henry, no let's get rolling. In this game, I know I'm wearing a Lamar Jackson jersey, but I can pass, support I an epic running back when I see him. And we've got one right here. But they are just... I mean, look, they've got two bloody... Two, two defensive backs ready for a blitz. Play action. Oh, yes. And that leaves Brown open in the backfield. They're going to get intentional grounding to tack it on. Personal foul. Rough in the pass. Defense. Rough in the pass. Number 95. 15 yard penalty at the end of the play. Automatic. First down. That's the ninth year veteran out of Cincinnati, Derek Wolf. Yeah, two steps. That's the rule. Can we get the video to 100 likes? You're standing in the pocket and you give them two I'm not sure. And after that, they're going to throw the flag every single time. John Parry, we're good there? He's right on it, man. You get one step and if you make contact... With Come on, second, Henry. It's a foul. First and ten. Extremely condensed field. Where's he going to go? The space is on the outside, guys, right? On the outside, not the inside. But he gets... Six yards, uh, four yards, sorry. That's okay. Or three. Calais Campbell. It's the first time I've heard his name. He doesn't even look that big out there. That's insane. A man that is 6'8", 300 pounds, doesn't look like a giant. Amazing. When you say soon, I mean right now. There it is. Catch. Another catch. Nick Westbrook Aquina for 12. Look, you, you see Wink Martindale's loading the box here. He's getting the one on ones. You're going to see him just fake to Derrick Henry, fake the counter. He looks at Corey Davis, doesn't have it. Westbrook Aquina. See, now they're using that Derrick the Henry run as bait. Even though he's been stopped, so it's, it's still a threat, isn't 10. it? It's still a huge threat. This is where Tennessee has been historically good, scoring touchdowns 75% of the time in the this red This is zone. where it becomes a chess match. Derrick Henry. Whoa. Derrick Henry, bro. You're just running into a fucking... And the reason they've been good down here, a closed gap, my friend. Henry, but it's the legs the Why does he keep going straight? Tannehill on top of that. He scored seven touchdowns on the ground, and then the tight end position really shows up down here. In the red zone, these tight ends for Arthur Smith have 11 touchdowns on the year. Think about it. In the playoff game last year, how, how many different ways did they score in the red zone? John o. Smith, jump pass from Derrick Henry, speed option from Ryan Tannehill. They have all Zach, agreed. Second and goal. That's Smith in motion. Tannehill, step up, bro. They need to score here. Third and goal. Queen made the stop. Could be a tied ball game, guys. Going into the fourth quarter. Forty ticks left in the quarter. And they're going to bring another tight end. So now they've got Ferkser. Forty the ticks of the clock left in the third Johnny quarter. Smith. Those two guys in these situations have been targets for Ryan Tannehill all year.
All right, we've got a, a more spread type of offense here. We've got wide receivers to use. We're five yards out. Are they going to score? No, they're not going to score. Oh, my God. Go, Derek. Stay alive. No, not quite. I like the fact that he, he threw that, though. I like the fact that he still threw it. It's the end of the quarter, and it's a fourth down when we come back. Brody, agreed. They said the best running play is a straight line run. The second best running play is slightly less of a straight line run. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still a straight line run, but just, you know, insert a, uh, a dynamic jump cut. in there at some point and um, you've got a successful run Ernest Bell where's the game well it's right here mate not a Ravens fan but they have two great cornerbacks enough to scare any quarterback and coach from throwing too much J79 says the Titans should take the three. In a new year, we'll crown a champion we'll never forget. Not sure about that. Of the season, we'll always remember. What do you guys think? I told him, OJ, you're breaking. Mr. Williams! It got stolen. Derek Jones? There's only 24 hours in a day. You should do it. Why don't you make a video? Derek Jones reacts to Lamar, jo Lamar Jackson college football highlights. Make an epic thumbnail, try and tag the shit out of it, and see how it goes. OJ, made in America. A five-part documentary event on National Geographic. Christian Lewis with some uh, vital information there. Germany 6-0 is unacceptable. It was an alarming performance by Germany. ESPN FC, Tuesday through Saturday on ESPN. I think they should take the three so there isn't any risk. But is there a risk? We'll see. We'll see what this next play um, brings. Yes, Mr. Williams, but they had my keys. They snuck into the house. They stole my set of keys from my bedroom whilst I slept. And then got into the car. That's how they do it in Alice Springs. They will not break into a car. They will look for the keys. And then drive the car. That's what they do. Now to think that you can't sleep and have your keys on your kitchen bench safely is fucked up. Trying to get the Titans a little closer. Steven Gostkowski. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I, I believe he's mid-40s and a, a Patriots kicking legend. Now he's at the Titans. 15-year veteran. Fifteen-year veteran. Okay. That is a sure thing. I'm going to trust. If there is one kicker in this league that I'll trust, it's him. I'm a TurboTax live expert. Ready to assess even the most unique tax situations. Can I deduct this clarinet as a medical expense? Since you're planning to fix an overbite? Yeah. Vinatieri. Ah, oh, shit. I got it wrong, didn't I? For a circus clown. That's funny. If we catch crab in Virginia and Maryland, do we file in each state? With large catches in both? Yes. <laughs> Z Z He's here. He's here. Z more. $3 for the field goal. Well, thanks, mate. Let me look up Stephen. No, he was a Patriots kicker. He was a Patriots kicker. What was the other name? Vinatieri. Adam Vinatieri. He was the Patriots kicker way back. He's still in the league. You're fucking joking me. 48 years of age. No, he's not in the league. He's retired. <laughs> Shit! We've got some real veterans in the uh, the kicking department here. See how happy he is coming back next week. And an emotional Philip Rivers will have a decision to make. Shaggy, yeah, that was me. Hey, anyone that wants to see DK Metcalf run a 4.2 second 40 yard dash, head to my other channel, Jake's Wide World. Of and as soon as I saw it, I knew we'd seen something special. Rather public about being snubbed off the AFC, couldn't crack. I certainly had. 
to make the Pro Bowl, which won't even be played, but to be the honored. Little chip on his shoulder, maybe. Here's Lamar Jackson, Jackson fires. Hits Brown. Caught by Brown for about 25 and yards. Unable to get away from Adore Jackson. Well, the, the mantra look, Marquise Brown, this is what they need. Now, the Tennessee Titans need a stop here. To win outside one on one. Just watch this round. This is a guy who has blazing speed. You see, he gets Odori Jackson thinking that he's going to take him downfield and then just snaps it off. That's what they need from him and then for him to catch the ball nice consistently. Route. If Lamar and him can develop that part of their offense on a consistent basis... You Go for broke? Yeah, you, you're right, mate. Um, I didn't I didn't have a weapon. I didn't have a, a machete. I did, had no gun. I had no crossbow. And I had no nunchucks, so to be fair, I was um, just turned 24 years old, three days completely ago, unprepared. The youngest to win the Heisman Trophy, but I did have these. The MVP, youngest start a playoff game, youngest to start a but against something like a knife. And everybody's on him after just two playoff games. Well, you know, all those awards were individual Fuck that shit. Not team so it's probably a good thing. You know, I have, I, like, I, I was asleep when it happened. But, he hasn't won but I have thought, he didn't win it at the high in, level, you know, um, since then, that... It's probably a good thing that I didn't wake up because who knows what would have happened. They probably would have had a weapon. They probably would have got scared and they probably would have attacked me. So fuck that. It's probably better that I stayed in bed. Marquise Brown. Nice catch. How many yards has he got? 100 yards. Six catches for 100 yards. Marquise Brown. And a third yards wide every single inch whether it's Lamar Jackson or J.K. Dobbins or Marquise Brown that's the speed element of this offense I will be streaming the Super Bowl if I am ways to get the ball in the Marquise Brown's hands we don't have to always take shots down the field it can be the available passing game I can't think of any reason why I wouldn't screens that shit is electric hundred yards receiving that shit is electric he just said that shit is electric Brown definitely looked like he hobbled off the field in some pain. Six touchdown catches in the previous... Does he say that shit is electric? Does that mean I could, like I could say that if I was a commentator? Let me listen to that. Yeah, he did not look right that can't be normal. Off the field. Maybe a cramp. That kid is electric. Gus Edwards. Brown definitely looked like he hobbled off the field in some pain. Six touchdowns. Let me listen. Down the sideline. Sixth catch of the game for Hollywood it's 20 yards it looks like he's limping off too now Marquise Brown Baltimore's going to make you defend 53 and a third yards wide every single inch whether it's Lamar Jackson or J.K. Dobbins or Marquise Brown that's the speed element of this offense Greg Roman finding very creative ways to get the ball into Marquise Brown's hands we don't have to always take shots down the field it can be the short intermediate passing game Different swing routes, screens. But that shit is electric. Hundred yards <laughs> You know, passing yards, screens, that shit is electric. Yeah, he swore, bro. He swore on national TV. Now that shit is electric. It wasn't that kid. It can't be. Are you gonna ha are you gonna make me play the skin? Well, you know, all those awards were individual awards. They're not team awards. And Lamar Jackson, he's won everything, but he hasn't won a championship. Listen. He didn't win it at the high school level. He didn't win it at the college level. And obviously now he's trying to do it here. And that's all he cares about. And that's all he should care about right now in this game. Skura checks in. Extra blocker. And they'll throw out of it. Get it to Marquise Brown. Makes a mad miss down the sideline. Sixth catch. Sorry, I'll be back the to the game, game shortly. But I do want to I do want to listen to this just one more time. Just one more time. Looks like he's limping off too now. Marquise Brown. Baltimore's going to make you defend 53 and a third yards wide every single inch, whether it's Lamar Jackson or JK Dobbins or Marquise Brown. That's the speed element of this offense. Greg Roman finding very creative ways to get the ball into Marquise Brown's hands. We don't have to always take shots down the field. It can be the short intermediate passing game, different swing routes, screens. But that kid is electric. Hundred yards receiving. There is no way he said that kid is electric. There is no way in hell. But I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> That's why you take the three points. That shit is electric. That's that's sick. That's good. It's good that he said that. Now, is the next game going to be commentated by a 15-year-old? And how do I find that commentary? Season will always remember. Are you ready for a wild wild card Monday? NFL playoff action. The Bears are in the hunt when they take on Drew Brees and the Saints. See now, if I was live on TV and they told me I couldn't swear, I couldn't curse, I'd get in NFL trouble for that, like within the t first two minutes. Today, I really would. It's the, NFL on ESPN. the 15 year old will probably be on Nickelodeon. That's on Nickelodeon. So how do I find a stream of Nickelodeon? <laughs> Tell me how I find a free stream of Nickelodeon, because I'll watch it on there bro, why not? I listen to it on your stream and it sounds more like shit than on my phone as kids. Anonymous. Next game is on Nickelodeon and Twitch. You can do your own commentating on Twitch actually just for the games that are there. It's a fact. You want to hear the kid? Yeah, I want to hear the kid. Justin I want to hear his, had made what he's going to say. Consecutive fourth quarter and like, oh, probably not for the whole game, but I at least want to hear a little bit. So we'll, we'll find that. We'll find that. Keeps it a four point game. Oh my god, Henry is just going absolutely nowhere. Derek Henry going. Down Alicia Salt. God yeah, damn, see, bro. We know what Derek Henry's numbers are in the fourth quarter of games, how he wears defenses down, but when Henry was over here on the Titans sideline on the bench, he looked frustrated. And the last time the Titans offense was coming off the field, Mike Vrabel walked him back all the way to the bench and was in his ear, looking like he was trying to coach Henry up. Now he should be frustrated, but the problem is Baltimore is winning the line of scrimmage and they've got eight, nine guys up there at times. There's nowhere for Derrick Henry to go. Second down and 10. Evans is in. It's Brown. Oh my God! They need Brown to, to really step up, and he is. And has he is. For the first down. Brown is a beast. Uh, Farad. Did I get life section? No. Right here. Could you possibly? You can't bring AJ Brown like that. Have you seen this young man's body? Do you see how he's put together? The police <laughs> did find the car, Mr. Williams, but down. it was, was written off. Exactly. This, this guy is a man. I, mean, um, I had a, a loan on it, so the insurance luckily the just paid out the loan, and, and the then I was left with, with nothing. He's well constructed. <laughs> no car, no loan. Could be worse. Come on, Henry. Come on, bro! Go, son! That'll go as his longest rush of the game. And we've got that at eight yards. <sighs> got shivers. The magic number for Henry was to get him the 24 carries. They want to rush the football 30 times. That was the, the plan for the Tennessee offense. He's just got to stay on his close. fucking feet, if mate. If he doesn't get tripped up right there, he may have been in the end zone. That's the accumulation of rushes. He starts to wear down on you. Come on, boys. Look at all these players up around the line of scrimmage for Baltimore. They're just trying to stop the run. Second and two. Get that. Get out. Oh, no. No way. No way. Overthrew Brown by a wide margin. Humphrey running with them. Nice design from Wink Martin. To They're all up here, but watch this. They're not just going to let A.J. Brown have one-on-one -on -one coverage. They're going to give him a little bit of help. Deshaun Elliott gets over there, and that's the adjustment that Wink Martindale is going to make you look like he's going to take it away up front, but still have two-on-one -on, -one on A.J. Brown. This is, this is elite NFL coaching, right, at this point. How about that? No rushing first down. You know, today. to 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 see Third see what they're going to pull out here. But then they need the players to pull it off. Quick throw. Oh, big stop by the Ravens, man. Deshaun Elliott. Fourth and two. An excellent play at a critical time for Baltimore. 
This is what they talk about, covering from high and coming down in your coverage responsibility and then making a short tackle in the open field. Deshaun Elliott is one of the most explosive hitters on this defense. As someone that was a big fucking hit, bro. As a guy who will put the pads on. Nice. Nice tackle by Elliott. Timely, nice, bro. Timely hit. Perfect form tackle. Perfect form tackle. I like it. Brett Kerr to punt. From the 50. Where will it land? At the 15. The Ravens will begin the another drive. We'll at their own 16 yard line with 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter up by four is it cool hand luka time will it be enough Creek Creek time zion time or king james time it's nba on espn a music time. review Mavs channel Bucks, pelicans lakers saturday on espn <laughs> i don't know about that mate <laughs> Oi, we need one more like to get it to a hundred. Right now. Who's who's gonna do it? Or have we done it already? No, we haven't, Spencer. You're lying. Did I find out who stole my car? Um, yes, it was a bunch of teenagers who got in no trouble. ESPN Films on National Geographic. Hundred and eight likes, what absolute legends, thank you. Thank you for that. Usually takes about two hours to get up to the hundred mark. And that's exactly what's happened. I'll be honest man, pretty much any game so far that I've watched, any NFL game being that last weekend or this weekend has been a good one. It has. We all know this season. Under is the jail. Maybe it'll always be remembered that way. But if it is, they'll most likely go to jail. Oh mate. This, this is Alice Springs, bro. And honestly Because <laughs> this there's some shit going down there at the moment. Uh, with with youth. And uh, their recklessness we'll and the fact that the parents. We'll never forget. Here we go, watch this. We'll always remember. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alice Springs has problems, man. The night before Super Bowl 55, the NFL's sucks, brightest but they stars do. will be recognized for the best plays and moments from this past 2020 season. Make sure you tune in to NFL Honors on Saturday, February 6th at 9 p.m. on CBS. Announced attendance. This is a bright spot for the whole league, right? 14,029. That's awesome. I actually heard a smattering of boos. <laughs> no, real boos, right? When you walked into the stadium? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yep. Not the curated audio we've become accustomed to. <laughs> real live boos raining down from the stands. Can I have that curated audio so when you call me, it'll be my ringtone? No, that's a good idea. Boos. They were booing after that 25 yard punt. And now the Titans have it with Dobbins. First down and more. But that's how you start a drive. All right, so here you are. This is what you wanted if you're the Baltimore Ravens. In that Week 11 game, they were up 21 to 10 in the second half, and they ended up losing. And now it's their opportunity. They've, their mantra all week has been finish, finish, finish. And you have an opportunity on offense now with the ball under 10 minutes in the fourth quarter. This is where you have to have your best football. Somehow that pass got through to Brown. Brought down by David Long after his seventh catch. Pick up a nine. Lamar changing that arm angle, going, <laughs> going a little baseball pitcher style in order to fit that through a throwing window. Just look at him. Just puts his curves oh. in right around the defender. Nick DeZubnar had a chance. That's nice, though. That's Ooh. a nice throw. You know he didn't see him. Second and one. Dobbins try to get it. Good second effort. They're going to give it to a first down. Big stick from David Long Jr. Right in the middle. Not the biggest linebacker. Number 51. Here he is right here. Watch him. 
fill this hole. Ooh. Look, he, he's been he's been putting them pads on people all year long. And that's what's going to take in this game right now because you know Greg Roman, the offensive coordinator, is saying, look, we're going to do what we do now. We're going to run those powers and the counters and the reads. What do you have for us? Can you stop us? Lamar to throw. As Andrews has been quiet for a while. His fourth catch is the first down there across midfield. It's a nice play design. Nice play design by Mark Andrews. Inside release and then bring it back out on kind of what they call a corner route or a seven route. Defenders lose track of him. Lamar puts it right on him. He also had Hollywood Brown coming open. No, they don't need to go to prison, but there needs to be consequences right of some sort, so or else in a groove right now. I like, I like it keeps happening. Andrews. Yes, you could have taken a shot down keeps the field and keeps Brown, happening. I like taking the bird in the hand, get a first down, yep. eat some clock. But Alice Springs is a very, defense. very, very is, unique, uh, very, very, very remote Baltimore area. Halfway through the fourth quarter. With, Lamar with. <gasps> Go Lamar! Ooh, big run by Lamar Jackson. Slices, slices through the middle. I wish we saw uh, Derek Henry do that. Baltimore Ravens. This guy right here, they pull Bradley Bozeman over and over and over. Mr. Again. Williams, what, what's the other Mark option, Raven mate? You know, Lamar getting the ball north and south, and not being able to turn him sideways and make him run to the sideline. This is what scared him. Power football <laughs> down the hill. Our prisons are overcrowded. That's one of the reasons several states of made, have, have made opiates legal. So exactly non-violent drug offenders don't wind up in an institution. Jackson's over yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, in the game. yeah. Some late pressure is picked up. Because that can really right. fuck people up. And he'll scamper out and get back to the line of scrimmage. It's the. I should. Ah. And Lamar Jackson. That shit is electric. Now I should put that on YouTube. It's become evident. I should put that on Jake's Wild Water Sports. Lamar I'll Jackson, grab that clip. See the growth from year and I'll say a commentator says shit live. Last year where he had three turnovers and now he's on national TV. This game. It's not about numbers. It's not about him. It's about taking care of the football. Keeping your Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab the, the part from the string, possibly. The <laughs> All right, let's go. Gus. Edwards. Why is Ingram Inside out? The 30, we tick under six minutes to play now. Pick up a three there. It's amazing. You watch this drive. How many times do you see 77 Bradley Bozeman pulling across the formation? They pull him according to the next gen stats on 42% of their rushes, which is number one in the NFL. Or they pull alignment on 42% of their rushes. Number one in the NFL. They average six and a half yards when they pull an offensive lineman, and they scored 16 touchdowns. Greg Roman makes no secret of what he wants to do. It's really about whether or not you can meet the challenge. Big Lump here. nubs, appreciate that. But six. we're about to see a big play, third and six. If Tennessee can stop them, which the they can't, but they Able can't make the complete. first down. It's Willie Sneed. I'm going to call that well fourth and mark, three. Fourth down. I, didn't, I didn't like that, that sequence right there. They were late. Big stop. The play in. They were discombobulated at the line of scrimmage they had to move guys around and then they run a quick sprint out that play didn't look good from the start and it looks like John Harbaugh now is going to try to go for this on fourth down oh boy and in this scenario he's looking at a couple of different things to make this decision his win probability and his success probability how likely is he to make it and how much difference is that going to give oh my him God. in the win probability I stuffed up my screen right before watching this play it's okay. All right. He rolls out, gives it, gives it to his running back, and they get the first down. Thank fucking God for that. That's close. That's close, mate. He could be down. They're not going to say that's not a first down, are they? His knee hit the ground after the line. Let's watch. You heard the roar from the crowd. Pass interference. Offense. Number 83. And a loud, louder replay, fourth down. John Perry. You know, what? a receiver that comes in, he does get his feet set, but with the shoulder, goes into that defender. Oh, you're joking me, run, mate. Which opens up that space for the forward pass beyond the line of scrimmage. Wow. He didn't look like he got much of him, JP. Oh, 
Holy That's shit. That's what John said as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, is he running a route? No. It, does he have intentions to pick? Absolutely. Tucker just missed from 52. This from 51. Tucker. He's got <laughs> he it. Directed it. He got all that you, one. You think he's not got it up? <laughs> He's fired up, all right? Fuck, you know, bro. Nice. Good shit. Good shit. 419 to play. Fourth quarter. Super wild card weekend. Someone called it, actually. Tucker for MVP. This is star power from the jump. I reckon it was a first down, too, but... The thrill and the agony, right? The thrill and the agony of sports. You're either, you're either going to love the call or you're going to hate the call. And if you're like me, you really don't care either way. And that's the way to be, I'm telling you. <laughs> that is the way to be. I appreciate everything. I respect everything. Unless you disrespect me, and then it's done. Are you ready for a wild, wild card Monday? That's a pretty good attitude, right? Did I see the Ravens fullback as a converted defensive tackle? I did. In fact, I actually looked up the stats, mate. Uh, I thought he was a tight end, but he's playing fullback, and I saw that he was 300 pounds. Is the and dynasty six foot three. over in New England? Absolutely. It really ends up ridiculous. Dude, it doesn't have to be amazing because this is the best defense in the division right now. Join host Laura Rutledge and a panel of experts for a breakdown of the latest well, this news is quite nice, actually. from around the league. Hot cup of coffee in my hands. Best defensive mm. lineman to ever play in the NFL. It's actually Ooh. really nice. I think this is the actual play of the game. NFL Live Wednesday through Saturday <sighs> on ESPN Two. Donald Small things in life. Lord of sports. There was always this sense that he had a plantation. Mentality. Brandon D. Well, if I can just take you back to a fateful day back in mid-2018. Um, I've been watching American football for about two and a half years. So I wouldn't say I'm completely familiar, but I am somewhat. Why are you surprised? But I do want to say welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. And I hope you can stick around. That's about it, really. Seven point. Four nineteen left here in the fourth quarter. Tennessee about to get the football, trailing by a touchdown. Boy, what What's the second most popular was, sport in New Zealand? Um, possibly and soccer. And then possibly the basketball. Pass from We're pretty good we'll at that. that how this game Cricket, ends. maybe. Took almost six minutes off the clock. Here's Evans from his goal line. Oh, here we go, bro. Go Evans! After the 21, I love seeing a little bit of action from a, a kick return. Tannehill, Titans offense on the way. Ain't nothing like it. Are you ready for a wild, wild card Monday? Matthew Jones, hello Jacob. I know this is completely unrelated to football, but your leaving Christchurch video really spoke to me and was extremely relatable. And I hope you're sitting well since then. You mean the one where I burst into tears on camera? We wrap up with the Browns and the Steelers. <laughs> I am, I am, I am doing well. I am. A lot's happened since then, actually. Um, well, it feels like a lot's happened. One app, one tap, that's that. One swipe, one slice, and yeah, things are good, mate. I took, I took, I took things into my own hands, man. And you saw it in that video. <laughs> oh my God! I, I'm actually really surprised. I did not catch you writing your as why are you are usually i'd see that and i'd instantly think you didn't just do that did you but you corrected it so well done your cheers matthew uh sabrina new zealand not only has a basketball team but our basketball team in the 2002 fiba world championships came fourth in the world 
2002. I was at Intermediate in second form, and it was so cool, so special for that team to be in the in the semi-finals that our class did not have to do any work, and we sat in the class, the teacher brought a TV in, and we watched the game. It's pretty fucking cool. I remember that. Uh, did I hear about the story when UFC fighter Anthony Smith had his house broken into? Yes. He is a legend. Now I'm not going to say he's a UFC legend, but I am going to say he's a legend in his own household for doing that. Out in front, 20 to 13, just over four minutes left, and the Titans have the football. Right, guys, four minutes to go. Crunch time. Titans need to score. And if they don't, the way that they've shut Derek Henry down throughout this game deserves them to win. It really does. Oh my God, how they're doing it bloody... Let's go back to that fourth down play. Look like John Harbaugh and company deserve the better fade here. Yeah, this could be a pivotal play. Look at Willie Sneed there. He's that's just poor technique. He's got to come out, square his shoulders, get his butt out, and shoot his hands like he's going to catch the football. Then he won't get called on that. But he could have flipper and he gets called. Second and four. It's get Henry. there, Henry. It's going to be short of the marker. That's interesting. So they just said that that defender would not have got called if he had have driven his shoulder in, but also had his hands looking back as if he was about to get the pass. But because he didn't do that. Having to orchestrate this this drive without Corey Davis. Corey Davis is on the sideline and does not have his helmet. Probably. But there is one guy called Kirk Penny who we always thought was going to make the NBA, but never did. Well, maybe he did, actually. I think he might have. We had Sean Marks. I think he played for the Jazz. No, the Spurs. The Spurs. And I think Sean Marks is actually a, a manager now. Might even be a GM. Wow. Uh, but believe it or not, he's he's from New Zealand, guys. For Baltimore. But I will have to check that. And Tennessee's going to go fast. There was no safety. Oh no! Fourth and one. We've got to watch this shit. They they have to get this here now. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Oh my God. Everybody up for Baltimore oh my God. the line of scrimmage. Yes. Tannehill. Got it. First down. Got it. Next Two task. Have to go on the clock. Had to have that, and they got it from Ryan Tannehill. You're going to see Ryan Tannehill right here. Just yep, Sean Marks, right. New Zealand basketball you know, executive, you game, who was the general manager the of the Brooklyn Nets. He was the first New Zealand-born player to play in the NBA. He won two championships for the San Antonio Spurs, one as a player in 05 and another as an assistant coach in 14. Now, would it be Sean Marks or Stephen Adams as the best Kiwi NBA player ever? The problem, Lewis, is that you know their, sure. their most explosive player to go opposite of AJ Brown is Davis. He's on the sideline. Westbrook Akina not going to run by Marcus Peters. Ryan Tannehill led the NFL with five fourth quarter comebacks. You got one in the playoffs coming up. Hey, Steve, shut the fuck up. It's time. But if you do want to stay for the stream, let me know where you're tuning in from, mate. Because the more, the merrier. This time flies. This time freezes. This time breaks us. And this time makes us. Actually, whose time is it? It's time to find out. No, not you, Weber Chris. I'm talking to Steve. Big Steve's in the house. If anyone comes in here and starts disrespecting me, well that's actually not disrespect, that's just being straight up honest. I probably should be watching the game, <laughs> but still. I'd be disappointed if Steve's come and gone already. This shit is electric, man. This shit is electric. <laughs> what a call. What a call. I'm from Canada. I'm nervous. You're not making it any better. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate you still being here. 
Um, and I apologise for telling you to shut the fuck up. It kind of just came out of my, my mouth. Sometimes happens. We wrap up with the Browns and the Steelers. Touchdown! NFL Wild Card Playoffs. Today, it's the NFL on ESPN. Ready for football. NHL on ESPN. Man Awida. Welcome. The quest for the cup begins. NHL returns. January Joe Rubio, are you going to be playing the Portland ESPN. Snowhawks, mate? Because if you are, you'll be tackling my player. You know that, right? ESPN live reaction from players and coaches for both squads. Dan Orlovsky and Marcus Spears on the game's deciding factor, and what you need to know. I think Bushwhackers are actually the goats game. from we'll from any country. Um, Jesse, I'll take that, but it's actually spelled right, MCD, hey, not MAC. So if you could just behind, fix that for next time, we'll be we'll be sweet. Baltimore, the first OPI against the Ravens all season long. Here we go. Tennessee's got the ball. Second and five. Tannehill. Tannehill's got to throw it, and it's a pick. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's done now. It's done now. Big, big play by Peters. Big, big play. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I wanted this game to go down to the wire, but I feel like it's done. No, no Corey Davis, Fuck. right? No Corey Davis. They try to get it to Khalif Raymond, and he falls down on the play. Yeah, I mean, you knew that was coming, though. You could just see it if you, if you were watching it. They were going to try and try him out here, and you're going to see Khalif Raymond come down the field here. But what he does is he falls down, and he's not even looking for the football. You see the switch release. Ryan's trying to get him. Oh, he does he fall down. down. You, they were trying to set he this fell up. down. Watching this unfold right, right in front of us right here. But he got they the tackle. They don't have one of their biggest, strongest, fastest receivers out there to take advantage of. They, they weren't on the, the same seven. page. Look at Khalif Raymond Let's looking back for the football. Fuck, bro. What happened there? Can anyone, can anyone please explain what we just saw happen in front of us? Why did that receiver... And at the end of that, Damn it, bro. The last play. All over the Titans logo he goes and falls over like that. Yard line. Attack on the taunting. Tennessee still has all three timeouts. Adrian's right. It's not over yet. Dude slipped coming out of his break. Uh... His head was turned backwards for about five yards before he even was going to go into his break. Are you ready for a wild um, he wild slipped because he run. ran into the other NFL guy. Um, the Bears are fiddlesticks. The they take on Drew Brees and the Saints. Touchdown! We wrap up with the Browns and the Steelers. Wild card playoffs today. It's the Rudy. NFL uh, you're a wee ESPN. bit behind there, mate. Ready for football. ESPN delivers great talk from the world of football. Spain thrash Germany 6 0 is unacceptable. It was an alarming performance by Germany. ESPN FC. I'm not Tuesday aware of the drama Saturday from the first game, ESPN no. ESPN 2. Can I move the stats? It's time. And there's no time like this time. This time flies. This time freezes. No. This time breaks us. No, I can't. And this time makes us. Cheers, teammate. Actually. Who do I predict to make the Super Bowl? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Chiefs versus the Bucks. From ESPN and the award-winning producers of the Sterling Affairs comes the latest season of 30. What do you guys think? Four brand new stories of Espen. seeing as the Titans are probably out, be the Barcelona Colts are out, resilience. I started to scream. Seahawks are out. Get away. Corruption. Washington's it's out. The culture of win at all costs and rebirth. How what have you guys got as rebuild? your Super Bowl finalists? Podcast, Who's making six. it? Listen now. Bills. You get your oh yeah, actually I like the Bills. Yeah, I do. Forgot about them. Fifty to play <laughs> here in the fourth quarter. Tennessee's only turnover of the game had the best turnover differential in the entire NFL comes at the worst possible time for the Titans Jackson rolling to his right 
<gasps> oh my god, that could have been another pick. Yeah, Brown's, Brown's got an injured hamstring. Marquise Brown has an injured hamstring, guys. He did it on the last play. Not, not the last one, but the one before. And, and I can in tell. These moments, as a quarterback, you have to know your personnel. Khalif oh my Raymond, God, AJ Brown. Marcus Peters versus AJ Brown on the other side of the field, and he beats his guy, and it may come back to bite no, Ryan Tannehill. Marquise Brown. I'm well, getting confused now. Down. Fox. Incomplete Fox. pass stops the clock. Tennessee has all three timeouts remaining. Lots of time in this one. Second and ten. Jackson oh my God. For Mar Jackson, go, go, boy, go, go, go. And he's smart enough to stay in bounds. The maturation process of Lamar Jackson is happening right before our eyes. Trying to pick that that elusive first playoff win. Bro, his rushing yards have been crucial in this game. The first downs that he's got through his rushes have been have been epic. Um, in fact, let's check how many how many rushing yards he's got. 137 rushing yards, guys. That has been huge. Yep. Derek Henry, 18 rushes for 40 yards. J.K. Dobbins has got as many yards as Derek Henry in half as many attempts. I mean, it just hasn't been happening for the Titans today. It's uh, it's unfortunate. But I'm so stoked that he got 2,000 yards. Because that is a positive to a negative. Like he's talked about all week. 179 yards passing, 137 yards rushing for Lamar Jackson. Jay Rico, you must be new here. Remains stuck on 40 yards rushing for the game on his 18 carries. Here's Gus Edwards. Ah. Clock stopped. Okay, so Tennessee's got. They've just used a timeout. They've got two left. Baltimore has three. Lamar Jackson. So there's plenty of timeouts for both teams if need be. Jackson now has two of the top three rushing yard performances. Do I understand why Lamar sat down in that run? Um, I. And the defense has stepped up. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Yep. And there, just to show you again, it's a nasty rivalry. Let's stomp on your logo like you stomped on ours back in week 11 in the regular season. Yeah, that's what makes these big time yeah. games really, they make them exciting. Look, well, Jay Rico, these guys are ultimate competitors. we're all about um, the community here, so, so welcome. Anyway, let's see what happens here. A minute 32 to go, second and five, Ravens ball. Now, if we can get a fourth down here and stop them, which we may do. To the 20. They had him down. Going to be short of the marker. Third and one. And the final timeout taken. Again, the playoff picture in the AFC really all hinges on the Steelers-Browns game tonight in Pittsburgh. If the Steelers win... The winner here goes to Kansas City. If the Browns come up with a victory tonight, the winner here will be on their way to Buffalo. Okay. Well, you can't help but think about this Baltimore Ravens team in Week 12 after they lost to the Steelers and they had been through so Quan. much. Welcome, man. They had lost four out of the last five games and everybody was piling. There's going to be another stream later, no so if, this one's probably going to be John over within about five minutes. But I'll be back. Every single week was a playoff game, and now here they are. About a foot away from a first down and, and I've got the it. Game. The Ravens have just and won the game. Edwards has done just that. Titans cannot stop the Ravens the have just won the game. I mean, it, it's a, it's amazing, isn't it? As far as Greg Roman, the offensive coordinator, they can move, but we talk to him again. I can't ever emphasize this enough. He doesn't care if you know where they're going to run the football or how they're going to kind of construct whether or not you can stop it. How many times have we watched Bradley Bozeman 77 pull and then run to the right side again and again with some kind of different variation? They've just gone back to who they are. Did you see Karen? Power running. Karen's going crazy. And that's what's going to carry them as far as they're going Fucking to go. Fucking hell. It's been six years since John Harbaugh won a playoff game in these Baltimore Ravens. And this team is so different than the one that steamrolled the National Football League a year ago. They are more callous. They had to go through adversity. And I think they're a better team because of it. And the Ravens 
They're not hanging around. Lamar is out of here. <laughs> he leaves with that elusive first playoff victory. Two coaches get together. A little bit different than the last time they got together. This Ravens team was six and five in the first right, guys. week of December. Yeah, look, Derek, if 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 Matthew, Mo, you know, Big Hunt, Jay Rico. Appreciate you all being here. Won the big game. Johnny boy. Be nice to get back to that. So you have to sure be happy is. for them. They came and they answered the bell. They ran off five straight. Uh they absolutely don't feel bad, Becker, because I didn't know there was a rubber either. Ran. Um Sean, thanks for coming. And they went back to who they are today. It's, found, it it's been like, fun. And it looks like and uh as per as per usual, I am going to head to the gym. The most um, I'm going to get a workout in, and I'll be back game. here as soon they as possible the to catch the Jackson. end of the Bears versus the Saints game. It's 9:50 in the morning. We've got plenty of time. I've got to get my act together. Thanks so much. I will read the stats. Thank you for. Um, Marcus Peters for reminding me. In fact, this I'm going to read the stats for, from the game first. In the playoffs wants to see. Um, hey, you know, John Perry was talking to me in the headset and saying, or am I? Probably want to know, how did they stop or am game? I? No, I'm not. You can find those stats, but what I will tell you is the stats for this live stream. We've just hit 4,000 total views. Currently, we've got 125 viewers. We had a maximum viewership of 165. Each of those 4,000 views, the average watch time was 3 minutes and 43 seconds. We've got 122 likes. And I made a whole lot less money than I did last night. And that's all I've got to say. Uh, Lamar Jackson's on screen. Let's watch. I'm just happy we got the victory, man. Our team played great today. We finished finally. We finished. Lamar, we they, finally jumped, finished. they jumped on you guys early. What changed after they went up 10-0? Yeah, we stayed focused. You know, we didn't get rattled. Um, my coaches didn't get rattled. You know, we had to put points on the board. We drove the ball pretty good. You know, I threw an exception. Dumb <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've heard two things now. You had heard the talk all the time you couldn't win in the postseason. It was your number one goal. We've heard shit and we've heard dumbass. Early pick and they went up. And uh, I'd say oh, go both of those you know, uh, without even thinking about it. All right. That was on my mind. I told coach, you know, he was, Cheers, coach guys. was talking to me the whole time, the whole game. He always do that, but I'll tell him not then. You Appreciate know, you. Been an interception. I was ticked off about it. I'm still ticked off about it, but we got the victory, so I can't be too mad. This game was built about you and Derrick Henry. You it got about, your... No, no it wasn't. It, well, was about, for... it was about us winning the game, you know. It's not about me and Derrick Henry. You know, we played two different positions. He a great running back. You know, he one of the best running backs ever. And, you know, it was about Ravens versus Titans, you know, and we, we came out with the victory. I'm talking about how it was built. You went out here yes, and you got your... Derrick yes, ma'am. didn't get his. What does that say about your defense? Our defense, you know, they, they was tired of hearing the noise, you know, and they did what they were supposed to do, you know. They, like, they've been talking about, you know, they've been doing it all week in practice. I feel like they've been doing it all season, you know, but we just came together as one and we, we got it done. Was Lamar Ball on full display today? Say it again. Was Lamar Ball on full display today? Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Congratulations on the win. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, it was. 150 rushing yards, one touchdown. No one Crucial it. yards, mate. Crucial yards. That's not fair to Lamar MVP of the game, I reckon, to be honest. MVP of the game. All right, guys. That was a lot of fun. We've got 84 viewers. I will be back. Appreciate you guys being here. We've got 4,064 views now, for anyone that was wondering. And 124 likes. I've had a lot of fun, as per. And I'll see you back here soon. And don't miss the Browns and Steelers tonight on NBC. The Ravens are going to Kansas City or Buffalo next week. Depends on that Cleveland-Pittsburgh.